day. How are you guys are doing? I thought um, I thought it's time to celebrate, isn't it? So I thought like fuck this, you know? It's time to uh, just you know dress up to the part, you know? Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, yes. So um, so yeah. How you guys been doing? You know? Uh, yes. Um, uh, yes. Suit and slippers, nice cameo. Thank you, my friend. What an attire, exactly. This is the proper fucking attire for this last stream. Be honest, do you have pants? I do. I found them just before the stream. So, I hope everyone's actually dressed up, you know, properly. Properly. Just before the, uh, you know, Phantom Liberty release. 16 days left. 16 days left. Yes. <laughs> he found them, he's not wearing them. Well, I exactly, I didn't say that I have them. Sorry, I'm in shorts. Brick Bane set. God damn it. That was not the plan. No pants, Dayum. Of course I'm elegant. Of course you are. Of course, of course. I'm wearing my favorite underwear. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yes. Yes. Okay then. Uh, my dears. Um, a random dude in a suit. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That is the idea. So, my dears. I am so glad. I am so glad that you're all here. You know, because like... It's 16 days. It's 16 days till the release, right? Isn't it? <laughs> okay then, okay then. Uh, so, so, just because, just because this is my last, last final, this is my, la my last, last final stream before the release of Phantom Liberty, which is in 16 days, I thought we're gonna talk, you know? I thought we're gonna talk. I thought I will show up, you know, in the stream dressed up properly. So yes. Uh, we gonna we gonna celebrate today. Probably running for a president. Oh yes, absolutely. That's exactly how you dress up uh, when you run for the president. My dears, so I have a really important question for all of you. Does anyone want to buy an insurance? No? Anyone? Anyone? Just because, uh, you know, uh, I, I may have, uh, I, I may have some contacts, you know? If you guys want to buy an insurance. So, uh, we, I may have some contacts. So, before we get to it, before we get to it, I think there is an important piece that we should play. Hmm. Yes. It has the music I like. Some uh, Phantom Liberty banger. This is what it is. Anyway, I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you're over here. Uh, my friends, I thought, you know, that I like doing sometimes things that are fun, so why not? Let's go. I told you that, you know, uh, this is the last, the only stream. It is the only corporate stream <laughs> when some hype is allowed. Oh yeah. <laughs> Camille, where are you exactly? Camille's not, not been here for a week or so. Uh, for like a couple, couple of weeks, I mean. Uh, hype allowed? Yes, yeah, some hype. Some hype is allowed. Some hype. Some hype. <laughs> Pavel looking like he's in the next John Wick. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. With my pal, with my pal uh, Keanu. Church of Hope. Church of Hype Assemble. Exactly. Church of Hype Assemble. My dears, my dears, I am so glad to have you here. Um, I am actually really excited, you know, about what's coming. Uh, as you can probably can tell, uh, there is 16 days to the release, Director of Insurance. <laughs> exactly. 
We are 16 days before the fucking release. Yes, that's exactly how I feel. And I, I don't know if you got it. I don't know if you actually got it, you know, from fucking anything. But I am a bit excited, just a tiny bit. Like, like a fraction excited. Anyway, anyway, uh, so, so, uh, yes, there are already questions, you know, uh, about 2.0. Well, I'm not going to leak anything, um, but as we said already, the 2.0 is coming slightly before, slightly before, uh, Phantom Liberty, but um, we are not gonna be talking about how much is slightly, is slightly, a lot slightly, or a little slightly, it's slightly. You know, that's what it means. Ability unlocked, avoid NDA questions, exactly. Playing my roles, I simply became NDA, you know? I was like, you know what, this corpo life is so exciting. I actually became an NDA for like one evening, you know, why not? <laughs> Slightly horny? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Okay, Chooms, Jenky, okay, okay. 16 days until the new insurance. Eh, lovely, lovely. So, my dears, everyone has health insurance. Maybe someone wants to buy an old Opel. I have an old Opel to sell. Any, uh, any, uh, anyone's interested? Anyone's interested? What's next weekend? Next weekend is Phantom Tour Korea, my chum. I am going to Seoul. So, I'm not gonna be here, unfortunately. So, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna be uh, here with you, my dears, today. And uh, yes, I am going to be there next week. You look like a fixer who's about to give us a gig. Exactly, exactly. And the gig I have for you is, you need to fucking survive next 16 days. So good, man. Exactly, Bartek, exactly. It's all good, man. Exactly. Ilesa te go, Plapavu. Opel is almost for free. Opel's almost for free, you know? That is it. Uh, I'm actually getting my driver's license in a little bit, so why not? Lovely, lovely. So, those of you who wants to get the new Opel, please contact me shortly, you know? We're gonna discuss, we're gonna discuss. Holy fuck, my hair. Cool. Okay. Good, good. We guys ready? You guys ready? Gratis to uczciwa cena? I think so, I think so. Uh, in a suit, what did I miss? You missed everything. You missed everything. I accept this gig. Can I bid for Opel now? Voibor asks. Thank you for a uh, thank you for a prime, my chum. That's first thing. I'm really glad you guys are all here. So, <clears throat> so before we go into the details, I wanted to touch something, right? And before I wanted to. <laughs> I wanted to touch something and I really wanted to mention all our dear Reds and moderators who are already here with us. So lovely to have you here, my friends. So I wanted to mention Kogito, of course, as always. Thank you so much, Kogito, for being here. You know, it was a long journey, Kogito, wasn't it? You know, starting, I don't know how many streams ago, was it like 90, it was like 86 streams ago, I think. Oh, two, two and a half years of streaming, my friends. Two and a half years of streaming between one of our games and another. Anyway, thank you, Kogito, for being here. Another person, my dear girlfriend, Sapphire, as always, as always, supporting us. Um, so cool. <laughs> She's always listening to all my f uh, silly ideas. When I told her today, you know what? I'm gonna show up in a suit, <laughs> you know, for this last, last stream, because I think this is the proper way to do it. Um... Yes, I uh, I am this crazy. I am this crazy. So, my friends, my friends, let's put on some juiced up. Let's put on some juiced up. And now I wanted to mention, of course, our dear rats that are with us. We have Bartek Pirka, our level designer, and we have Moody Sheep, our QA narrative coordinator. Thank you so much for both of you, um, for both of you for being here. It's so nice uh, that we have some reds that are showing here up every week to listen to me bubble. So there was a question. Cruz <laughs> Vidas, Pavo in a suit? No. 
it's just my normal attire. I, I simply walk up like this, you know, uh, Basha. I just walk up like this. I hope, uh, Basha, you're feeling good, you know. Uh, I know you've been in the hospital. I hope everything's fine, you know. And you're back to your, you know, good health, I would say. Aparatovic said, I bet no pants. Absolutely, my friend. Absolutely. That's exactly how I show up. This is his relax wear. Yes, this is when I chill up. When I actually want to relax. That's exactly how I look like. Pavel looking slick today, Pradafik said. Thank you, my friends. When you keep telling me this, I start to think that I do not look slick normally. But that's fine. That's fine. Let it slide. Let it slide. Let it slide. Pants off. Exit next level set. God damn it. Pavel Sasko became Pavel Arasaka. Okay, if you say so. If you say so. Okay then. <laughs> Is this suit for Sapphire engagement expansion? Well, I mean, uh, I uh, this is definitely for an expansion. Yes. Oh, this uh, Susie's with us, Arasasco. Hello, Susie. Um, you know what it is, Susie? It's our last stream. It's our last stream before uh, the uh, release. It's our last stream before the release, 16 days. I thought, why not? Let's celebrate, you know, let's dress up, up to par, you know, here for here, you know, I really want to look properly when I'm talking to uh, my chums. I'm so glad it's not the DLC, Guadalus says, exactly, exactly, Guadalus, it's an expansion, my chum. Very well said, very well said. Pablo, are you nervous about the release? Um... Am I nervous about the release? I mean, to be honest, my friends, I am always nervous. Um, but this time, it's more of like... FUCKING HYPE! You know what it is? This is what it is! This is how I feel! You know, this is how it is right now. It's not... I am actually not nervous. I am really hyped. You know, that's basically how I feel. Uh, to be honest. I am excited for you guys to put, like, your hands on this. To be honest, that is it. <laughs> That's how I feel, to be honest. I mean, I feel tension, I feel excitement, I do I feel nervous, I mean, in some ways, but I'm not worried, you know, I, I do not feel worried. Like, yeah, I don't feel worried. Which I guess is good, <laughs> I would say. You know, you still gotta say, you still gotta say it's, um, it's always, you know, you never really know how it all gonna play out, right? You just never really know. You just never really know. Um, but, um, I don't know. Kinda, uh, I'm, I'm kinda excited. Cybervesta said, I feel more worried. Why do you feel worried? Why do you feel worried? I almost finished Baldur's Great 3, so I'm almost ready for Phantom Liberty. It's you said, that is great, my friend. Did you enjoy Baldur's Gate 3? I didn't yet started it. I didn't yet started it, my friends, because you know what I'm doing? Outside of uh, selling insurance, I am working on stuff for you, my dears, right? On things for you, for the game. You know how it is? For Phantom Liberty. I am just... I just want to make sure that it actually all works. This cop, Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk D wrote, I mean, yes, um, it's the only proper cop to show up on the streams. Mm. Yes, that's basically what it is. Should we wait for patches after release of Phantom Liberty? Popolsky Holtsky says, I hope you won't have to. I hope you won't have to. I hope you won't have to. No, no. I think it will be like so fucking smooth as butter. So smooth. So smooth. Now, is it gonna be smooth? I don't know. I fucking hope so. Will you be in London tour? Voss asks. Um, can I say it? I don't know. I cannot say it probably, yes, Voss, if I can be or not, because it wasn't announced anything. The uh, Korea uh, and Seoul uh, has been, so that's why I am um, I mentioned that, uh, my friends, that I'm traveling to, uh, I'm actually traveling a couple of days uh, to sell, um, actually, with uh, our uh, dear uh, level designer, 
Anya Bulavina and a couple other people. So, yep, we're gonna be there. Any possible bugs won't stop me from playing day one, Roma wrote. I hope it won't be fucking many of them, though, to be honest, uh, Roma, but I appreciate it. Thank you so much. 2.0 update in Phantom Liberty. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I am actually really hyped for it. Will you be working on the new next Cyberpunk game? Of course. I am one of the directors who is moving to Boston, my friend. We'll be setting up, or actually we are already, or it's already there, um, our new entity in America, uh, when uh, we will be uh, handling the production of Project Orion, which is new Cyberpunk, which, you know, we started some conversations on. Witcher wrote, DLS 3.5 on my 4090 is waiting. That's cool, my friend. That is cool. Will Orion support backward save? Deus Jesus. That is a very, very, very early question, isn't it? Like, I am here celebrating with you, soon to be, release of Phantom Liberty, and I'm already getting questions about Orion. You guys are unrelenting. Honestly. Will American Rarok be Red Eagle? No idea, <laughs> Lucy Art. I don't think so. Hello, Chivok. Uh, Chivok, our player experience manager. Yes? Is that correct? Thank you so much, my friend, for being here with us. So happy for you, Pavel. Hype for DLC. Uh, you Ganchonic set. Uh, <laughs> today, yes. Hello. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad, Chivok. I made it right. I made it right. Uh, Chivok Mike. Uh, he is our friend, of course, you know, works in Red since long time, uh, and I'm really glad he's here. And that's Ayano, my friends! So, Ayano, our UA producer, Ayano is actually one of the people that I'm collaborating really closely on for all of the releases. Uh, Ayano is one of our main producers running the show. I'm really glad that she's here. Ayano is also streaming. Uh, if you want to find her, just look at my recommended streamers, she is there. So if you wanna check her out, please do so. Will you play Phantom Liberty week early? For us fans, like stuff of goofing around, Joshua Andrews asks. Joshua, the thing is, the thing is my tomb, that uh, I don't wanna spoil it for you. You deserve to be delighted on your own. So no spoilers, no spoilers. I'm not gonna be Spoiling this for you. We gotta exactly stream from jail. That's the plan. Chad Pavel literally became an NDA. Look at him. Exactly. S uh, Susie, we talked about it. You know, I basically became NDA myself. Could you play around 2.0 and show us, show off some non story stuff? Mr. Vinland said, No, I cannot. Unfortunately, my friend. The N in Pavo stands for NDA. Interesting. Where is the N in Pavo? Sparking twinkly. Uh, but maybe there is one. Are you in Boston now? No. I am in my headquarters in Warsaw right now. However, I will be Boston uh, this November. So this is when I'm moving for real. Yes. That is the case. Why NDA is a junk item in Cyberpunk? I don't know, man. Like, puzzled together. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? You know, it's a message. It's a message um, from our designers. Um, Warsaw correspondent, exactly. Your Warsaw correspondent, you know, uh, Mr. Sasko coming in hot, you know, with some uh, fucking uh, news from Warsaw. Nitko Pitkilo. Nitko Pitkilo. Hey, Paolo. When we speak about don't left stone to unturned, are we going to get any new RPG elements outside of combat? I mean, well, I mean, there's bazillion RPG changes in the whole 2.0 and Phantom Liberty 2. So, my chum, I think the answer is yes, but you're asking about new elements. Um, well, I mean, the whole skill tree is kind of new. Uh, it's mostly redone uh, from scratch. Uh, so I would call it the quite new as an RPG element, but there's there are some other things, but we're not gonna be spoiling. Is that exactly Bazillion? Can we quote you? 
Well, you can always quad me. <laughs> right, I, I cannot stop you. One bazillion new RPG elements. Well, I don't know if I said that uh, exactly. I said one bazillion of RPG changes uh, because there's plenty of them. Now, is it gonna be like loads of RPG elements? Well, I think so, right? Like it, you guys know exactly what are the big elements that are coming in 2.0. So, you know, that's how it looks like. Misquotes are in the thing on the internet. Oh, thank God. Actually, this actually never happened to me. That's true. You know, I've been always quoted completely properly. So yes, um, never happened. Exactly, exactly. Uh, you're gonna be fine. Thank you, my friend. That is very, very reassuring. Very reassuring. Do you know Jan Blachowicz? No, I don't. I mean, well, I know who he is, but I don't know him personally. So, um... Shraft asks, are you moving to the Polish section of Boston? I am frankly not yet completely sure where exactly to Boston I'm moving. I know where our office is, I know where uh, I want to live, roughly. Uh, I have some ideas about districts and places, but uh, I don't have yet my own place. We're gonna look for something, my chums, right? Otherwise, I'm gonna be one of the, uh, one of the homeless people, you know? First homeless uh, game developer, you know? That's it. When is the Polish voice cast uh, going to be released, Pavel? I actually frankly don't know. I actually frankly don't know uh, exactly when that's gonna happen. Probably definitely not. I'm um, not going to definitely spoil it, my friends. Corpo cosplay today? No, I mean, as Susie said, I fucking became my NDA, you know? I became my NDA. That's it. That's it, you know? I know my NDA so well, I, just, I, it, um, I become an embodiment of it. Looking good, Pavel. Larik said, you guys are giving me so many compliments today. Holy fuck. I've never get this many compliments in my life. I'm gonna start like literally living in that suit. The suit is a sign. Well, I mean, in a way, yes, because like this is our last stream before the release. 16 days to go, you know? So, yes. Got sunglasses for style point. Oh, I actually do have sunglasses. It's not compliment, it's truth. Damn. Don Pavo. <laughs> Pavo choose his corpo life path. Absolutely. I understand why you guys are moving on to Unreal Engine, Oricon asks. But I really hope Orion doesn't suffer from the generic realism style that plagues modern Unreal games. Art style is very important and 2077 has the best one I've ever seen. So I hope that won't be lost, Oricon said. My chum, I really fucking hope so too, my friend. Like... You know, we definitely gonna be working to make sure that whatever we provide you guys with, you know, the new game and, and so on, you guys can be proud of, you know, and it doesn't, it doesn't feel like a carbon copy of anything else, you know, that's it. <clears throat> I became the NDA destroyer of theories, Flo Robert said, absolutely. Red Engine 2 is the best lacking engine, engine on the market while you're leaving it. My friend, Le Red Engine 2 is an engine that was used for Witcher 2. Uh, Cyberpunk is released on Red Engine 4, to be honest. Uh, just saying. So, if you are talking about Red Engine 2, I mean, we left it before Witcher 3. So, uh, uh, yes, no worries, man. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just laughing. Why are we leaving it? Well, I mean, because we feel that we are gonna provide you with just better games. That's really what it is, you know? Um, yeah, Bex, no worries, no worries. I mean, Red Engine 4, don't worry, my friend. I see it. Like, we just believe that we are gonna provide it with better games. That's the reality, you know? Um, that's why we are leaving. There's just, like, no one would make this decision if we would think, okay, yeah, we wanna make, like, a crap games from this point on, so how to make sure that it happens, you know, and, and there, therefore we made that decision. No. It was basically because we want to give you guys the best games, right? Not, you know, not the worst. Oricon said, we trust you and Gabe. I mean... I'm really, really thankful for the trust. I mean, I'm, believe me, like, I'm, I'm doing everything I fucking can not to disappoint you guys. Honestly, like, I think probably that would be, like, one of the worst things for me uh, that could happen. It's like feeling that you guys have believed in us and have put a lot into just following us as a company, trusting us, and then you would feel disappointed. I would really... That would be fucking heartbreaking for me. So, um... Believe me, believe me, I really, 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 
hope this this won't this this won't happen. And uh, I mean, I work every single fucking day to make sure it's not the case. Is the whole CDPR moving for uh, from Red Engine? A good love asks. Uh, that's correct, my friend. It is. It is. Well, all our future releases are gonna be on Unreal. That's the idea, at least right now. With Cyberpunk, uh, the first person, like uh, Carto La Gamer 007. Uh, with Cyberpunk first person, aka FPS, gameplay is already established. If you guys plan to add a third person gameplay to Orion, how it works, changing something that you already made a foundation of, I would be like turning Witcher into turn based. Well, there's many different there's many different components, you know, of the question you ask because like. You always need to ask yourself as a developer and as a creator, is something that you have created a um, part of its identity, and of its IP, and it's really important to preserve? Or is it something you can change or update or expand on, you know? And again, I, I assume, I suspect that uh, first per not assume, I believe that first person perspective in Cyberpunk is very, very important. And in a way, it's, it's like iconic to its look. Um, so I don't think that you know, we're gonna be suddenly fucking going second person or like turn based, you know, as you said. Uh, but, um, you know, like there is lots of discussions to be had, you know, in regards of what we wanna preserve and we wanna change and update and so on, right? Um, and again, I'm not announcing anything here, my friends, so I just want to make it clear uh, here. But I'm just telling you that, you know, like as a dev, as a creator, as an artist, it's your job to sort of recognize what is the most important part of that um, IP that you're working on and then sort of expand on it, you know? Uh, so we're gonna see where we land, you guys will see. I'm not going to say anything more uh, about Orion because, you know, that's not why we are meeting here. Yes? We meet here because you guys wanted to get, uh, to, wanted to have a uh, health insurance, right? So this is what I'm selling here, health insurance. <laughs> that's it, you know, that's basically the uh, purpose of this meeting. Leru, nice to have you with us. Uh, nice to have you with us, my friend. Uh, Born to be king said, why is third person in the early marketing then you made us believe third person is a thing? Well, I mean, my friend, because like we have been working this game and iterating in many different things. And um, I mean, I think it's kind of normal that when you're showing the game early and again, it's probably it was probably not a great decision to show it this early. So it's a bit of a separate conversation, but it's a natural that when you're like iterating on a game and so on, um, you make decisions and changes that will ultimately lead to better game because that's your objective, that's what you want to do, but you have to numerous times actually change, change what you have established before, you know, that's basically how it works. Um, so Born to be King, I think that is, uh, that is the reality, my friend, you know. I'm not really sure what else I can add to that factor. That was really like an effect of iteration of us believing that that will be a better game uh, if we will go with uh, this direction. And I don't know, I, I think like at the end it actually paid off. So uh, I would probably make a point that it actually did work quite okay, you know. Um, Dorn White asks, have you read No Coincidence by Rafał Koshik already? No, Dorn White, I didn't yet. I am finishing right now the Doom Guy uh, by John Romero. Uh, I, I listen, recently didn't have this much time to stream, uh, sorry, to read. Um, so because of that, I moved forward with, the, with uh, uh, John Romero's book, but not this much. Uh, I didn't finish it yet. You know, I'm, I'm somewhat like maybe a couple chapters uh, away from the ending right now. So they already shipped, shipped Doom uh, in, in the version of the book I'm reading, and they're working on Doom 2 right now, um, if, you're, <laughs> if you're interested, so. When I'm guesting on your stream, Susie asked? Susie, are you... Like, Susie, you're way too big to just come to my random stream. I mean, I'm sorry, but I mean, seriously. Uh, <laughs> Susie, like you as a guest stream here? Well, I mean, that would be lovely, I can tell, but I mean, seriously, uh, it's just, uh, uh, yeah, you know, uh, I, I think it's, uh, you know, I, I don't know if that would be a proper place, you know, for you, you know, I'm, I'm doing as good as I can, you know, to keep those streams 
nice and enjoyable for everyone, but, you know, I, I think I have plenty to catch up before I will be able to stream with people like you, you know, so... I respect the NDA, don't worry. Oh, yeah? Really? <laughs> oh, right, because you were talking about the case we, we, like, stream together, and then you, like, break NDA multiple times or something. Nice, nice, nice. And then I'm a former quest director. Uh, that would be very uh, uh, fun. <laughs> That would be very fun! Um, VG Silverhand, nice to have you with us. I never will, as uh, uh, Susie wrote. Oh, I mean, I'm obviously, I'm obviously joking. Uh, I'm obviously joking, but I really appreciate so much that you're here. Uh, it's so fun, it's so fun. Um, you, I hope you guys are um, excited to meet Stella in Phantom Liberty. So the character that Susie's playing in Phantom Liberty. What's the occasion of the outfit? 16 days to the release of Phantom Liberty. That is the occasion. Besides, besides, I'm just meeting you guys. I'm just meeting you guys. You know, let's play something hypey. I am meeting you guys. You know what I mean? That is enough. That is enough to dress up nicely, you know? And be like, you know what? I'm meeting with my favorite people in the internet. I'm meeting with my favorite people in the internet. We, I have to look properly. That is the purpose of the outfit, you know? This is the last stream before the Phantom Liberty ships. So we need to celebrate properly. <laughs> okay, feeling, feeling and looking sexy is enough to dress up. Yes. Sweet 16. <laughs> Exactly! This is this is basically Phantom Liberty's Sweet 16. Yes, that is actually very... Pavel came straight from church. That is... That is the case! Preach, my friend! Preach! wanted to show you some things uh, before we uh, before we keep uh, moving there's actually plenty of things that happened um, when um, you know when you guys have been faffing around uh, we've been working on things obviously obviously so I have some things to show uh, or maybe uh, rather than discuss with you uh, that are uh, quite cool and are quite cool I think um, that I wanted to go over with you so like I think probably the first thing, the first thing I wanted to touch, my friends, is, is this. We are right now done with our Phantom Tour in Beijing. It just finished. Amazing fucking event with a lot of great people. Uh, you could have seen, you know, some of those pictures already on social media. So just, but maybe not everyone. So just wanted to point out, on the left, on the left, we have Songbird or So Me. That is uh, a fantastic cosplayer uh, playing So Me, of course. You know, with a uh, So Me suit. So that is it. On center, you have uh, Machik uh, Repek. He is our community manager. Uh, well, our event manager, basically. And next to him, that's Tarin, actually. Tarin cosplay. is Johnny Silverhand. That is really fucking awesome, actually. The way it looks like. Uh, those three. So, there were some gameplay photos taken secretly from this event. Among other things with a new map. Interesting, Pablo. I didn't know about that. Do you want to tell us, Pablo, more about this? Should I chase someone? Tell me. Should I chase someone? New map. <laughs> I don't know what Pablo means by new map. I thought Johnny was a statue. That's an awesome cosplay. No, that's Tarin. That's Tarin. I recognize his face, actually. So, you know... 
Can we wear the Bargas Soldier's heavy armor, full armor and helmet? I am not going to be spoiling anything from the game. Another one. Ticket for Beijing, my friends. My friends. Uh, Pablo says, yes, you can clearly see new spaceport and your roads in Norfolk near uh, the casino. I have no idea, Pablo, what you're talking about. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Not commenting on that. This is a trap. Pablo is like, you know, leaving the fucking bird trap for me. I am not going to step into it. Because I'm gonna, you know, uh, just leave leave that trap with no ass. So, uh, nope. <laughs> Jadunio, not sure how much you can review. Probably not much, knowing life. Uh, but let's check your question. But I once shared that I'm a massive gun nerd and I'm really excited about new firearms. I'm curious among the 100 plus items, how many are new guns? A bunch. And how many will be only available on the block market and how many will be right away? I mean, it's all over the place. It's really like all kinds of cases. We have all kinds of cases, you know. Um, there are some in vendors, there are some in the black market, there are some as you progress, you know, in quests and whatnot, but not spoiling more. How much gun customization has changed from just the standard mods? Massive thank you for all your amazing reds. Um, Phantom Liberty will be Nova. I'm not sure whether you're talking about guns customization. Are you talking about the, um, you know, scopes and so on? Uh, if that's the case, then well, I mean, there's some new stuff, but I'm not going to go more into this because I cannot spoil you things and I cannot reveal unfortunately but I mean absolutely like I know um, Jadunia that you're a gun nerd and I think you're gonna like it but you we will see you know like I think you will be the best one to judge at the moment when it ships you know so you will see Pablo says no it's true unfortunately there was a light wait once again there was light reflection from the monitor in the casino area, so I'm personally very skeptical. It looks like a deliberate CDPR hoax. I am. Uh, I didn't hear about any deliberate hoax, to be honest, uh, Pablo. So, not sure what you mean by that. Um, I think, Pablo, that it's the best to just wait and see. Wait and see is the way we go, you know? That's basically how we do it. When is the next CD, uh, CD Projekt Dread stream? Oof, I don't think I can reveal that, can I? Can I, my chums? It's gonna be announced when we are ready to talk about such news, right? Yes. Another picture, my friends. Oof, but do you know? Of course I know, Oricon said. Of course I do. When it's ready, uh, good laugh said, well, I mean, obviously. I want nine C Night City Wire episode. Oof, that would be rad, I agree. Lol, my comment on screen. <laughs> I mean, yes, of course. My comment, your comment, Cyber Vesna and Bartek, actually, who is with us here. Who's with us here? You are, you are such a tease. I am not teasing anything. I am not teasing anything, my chums, no. And that is, those are our dear reds, you know, the people uh, that have been, uh, that are like event managers or they are part of the, uh, they are managing the uh, Chinese community or localization. Uh, that's basic, that's Victoria, you know, my friend, uh, Machik, you know, Joe, uh, Joe, our uh, community, a Chinese community manager. Island, another community manager. Jack, another community manager. Uh, I think this is... I don't remember actually the name of this person because uh, I think he's sort of new. Um, so I don't think I've met him. And Mihao, of course, you know, Event and, um, and Repic again. Uh, and those are uh, this is, those are all our red chooms, you know. It's actually funny because, like, you can see, like, uh, Island has a tattoo on her, on her, her arm. So um, she is, uh, because actually Victoria uh, was giving, like, people tattoos, you know. They were, like, getting various tattoos on this event and so on. I asked Victoria, can she, like, bring some of those tattoos, you know. Uh, to the studio so that we can <laughs> so that we can uh, you know give some of it or uh, or you know like make some of the tattoos for our uh, dear uh, for our dear reds you know that's it 
that's basically the case. Okay, I wanted to show you something else, though. I want to show you something else. Just give me a second. Just give me a second, Tombs. Um, where the fuck that thing is? Okay, I of course cannot find it. I of course cannot find it. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Outsider no more, yes, that is outsider no more, my friend. Uh, Camille, Camille, we miss you, yeah, exactly. I have no idea where Camille is. I hope he's fine, and I hope he's chilling, and I hope he will play Phantom Liberty to tell us what he thinks. Science fiction person asks, is the documentary about Phantom Liberty development that was revealed recently the same as the people who were filming you streaming a few months ago? Um, yes, science fiction person, it's a part of it. It's a part of it. It's a part of it. Okay? Do you guys remember? Do you guys remember there was a moment when I actually went live and there was like a film crew behind me? Do you remember that time? You know, they were like here with cameras, lights and shit and audio. So that is in that documentary, right? Uh, that we were shooting like all together, uh, basically. There was a lot. They were shooting everything. Like, they were everywhere with us. They traveled with us to LA, even. Like, you know, it's a really, really fucking cool crew. I had so much time. I had actually so much time. I had so much fun, actually, with them uh, to do it for, uh, to do it with them. So uh, it was actually really cool, you know. Does it have English subtitles? Because it looked like German production. It is a German production. I don't really know if it will have subtitles, but as you can imagine, like, in a video, I cannot really. You know, well, I can't speak German, but not that well to be able to do whatever interviews and so on and be in the documentary in German. Uh, besides, like, majority of the people we have there don't speak really German. Um, there was also... There was also this... Um, There was also this trailer, I think, released recently, but yeah, I, I didn't see. Uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to show it to you. Because I've seen it shared here and there, but I'm not sure. So I probably cannot really, cannot really watch with you here. But it would be nice. Spy Apple City. Random question, but any tips on what the project is looking for in prospective interns, employees? Well, I mean, my friend, I would start from this. If you really want to work in our company, there's a couple of things you have to do. First thing is, you need to be somewhat mature in who you are as a human being. That maturity actually takes time to achieve. It's really difficult to actually be mature and in the same time be 17 or 18 or 19. That is the reality of the world. Normally, we are taking people who are just a bit more mature, just have seen a lot a bit of life you know just know some things maybe worked somewhere and tried some things why because it actually helps you out to achieve your objective to be on time to communicate properly to be organized to time manage yourself there's so many different skills that you learn just by doing various jobs like i can assure you that if i have a 19 years old who's really talented and second 19 years old who's really talented but worked half a year in Zhapka, the second person will be a much better employee. And the reason for that is because that person had to train lots of things, be on time with the job, unload the fucking truck, you know, prepare the shelves, clean it up, you know, take care of various things that normally happen in work. Therefore, that person will be simply just better suited. That's the way it works in life, my friend. So... It's really difficult to become an intern when you're like straight from high school, you know, with like absolutely zero experience. It does happen, but I would say it's an exception and life teaches us that most of us are not exceptions. We are in most cases really, really standard human beings. And again, I'm telling you this as a development psychologist who by education, who loves humans and people in general, who I think maybe not knows a lot about human beings, but at least have been studying them a bit, you know, reading about it, learning about it. Um, I had a lot of uh, different experiences with, uh, you know, people when I had been uh, having my classes in the 
in the hospital for mentally ill people. I have been also in the kindergarten when I have been, uh, you know, helping out with for a year, uh, working with the children who are like underdeveloped or are having another like really bad genetic diseases. Um, just to learn, you know, how human develop and so on. And it, it was actually really cool uh, to uh, to take care of those kids. But anyway, uh, I'm not going more into my biography because that's probably boring as shit for you. What I want to say is we as human beings, we are very, very similar. And, and I'm here talking about not like minuscule details because we are different in that way. I'm talking about actually our development, our tracks, you know, how we develop in time, you know, how we gain proficiency in skills and so on. Nothing happens overnight. You need to train things, you know, and you need to create an environment where you can train them. So like, if you want to be good in communication, where will you need to communicate, right? If you want to be good in organizing stuff, start organizing things. I don't know, fucking join an organization, and organize conferences or be a volunteer for things. Just see how things work, how other people who are more uh, experienced than you are handling things so you can learn from others. That is really, really important at the very beginning. And then, of course, you know, when you're looking actually to become a part of our studio, you know, aside of all of those things connected to maturity and life, organization, communication, you need to be specialized in something, right? Are you a programmer? Are you an artist? Are you a musician? Are you a narrative designer of some, some sort? You know, maybe are you, you are a QA, you know, you want, to, you want to really test and that is something you are really great at. There is something you really need to learn and, and um, you know, focus on as a human being to be good at, you know, and to have something to offer, my friend. And to be honest, majority of us have something to offer. It's really difficult to find a human being uh, that is like, quote unquote, worthless, you know? It is really so difficult. Like, even when you just start talking to people and discussing things with them, you actually figure out, you know, how much value they have, but sometimes they just don't know about it. You know, they are simply not conscious about all the skills they have because of, you know, whatever other reasons, you know, maybe they never met someone that could show it to them, you know, um, maybe there are some other obstacles on their way that prevented them from reaching this and seeing that, you know, really important, really important, my friend. Anyway, my tomb, uh, Sky Apple City, I, I hope I answered your question. It was a pretty long answer, but uh, holy shit, your question was very complex. Volpin, hello, my friend. Great that you're here. That is great. Uh, Bartek said, <laughs> you also need to have a nice suit. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, thank you, Bartek. Uh, nice suit helps, too. Alex Pack, thank you so much, my friend, for a prime. Uh, Volpin, uh, Pavo is basically one of our gameplay uh, QA. Thank you so much, my friend, for being here. You look premium. Thank you so much, Volpin. Uh, you're the best. Galaxy Open said, you are telling me my childhood trauma is giving me more chances interesting. Well, I mean, Galaxy Open, that's the thing, you know, it's so important. It's so important. My friend, my friend, just be, be aware of something. As a human being, you are dragging and getting the value out of the experiences, right? What is trauma? It's an experience. It's an experience. And it's an experience that changed you. It's an experience that impacted you. It is an experience that informed you in a deep level. Now, of course, you know, it can be a reason why so many different things do not work in your life. But it can also be source of knowledge. It can also be a stepping stone for you growing further. And at some point when you kind of handle this and you're able to use it, it can be also a incredible uh, advantage for you. Really, like, but after you, of course, handled that, after you handled, that, you know, all of that things. And again, you know, I'm not trying to tell you and sell you some bullshit here outside of insurance, you know, in case anyone wants that insurance, just let me know. But uh, I am just trying to tell you that all the experience that they do have value and they leave you uh, deeply touched by life and you will you will use it at some point, you know, in your life. It's just really important so that that trauma, whatever that was, it does not make you in, 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 incapacitated, incapacitated. 
That is the word that I was looking for. Incapacitate, you know, really important, my friend. Uh, so, of course, you know, that trauma you need to handle, but all of those experiences, really valuable, you know. So, yes. <laughs> Volpin said, can do the funky above in in senior now, uh, Volpin says. Oh, yes. Senior, senior Volpin, that's true, that's true. Exactly. Uh, Asha Swelkalo, Pavel Sasko, 12 rules for salsa. Exactly. 12 rules to salsa your life. Uh, Ark Veus, uh, Arks Veus said, going through something right now and just joined. Thank you for this, uh, Pavel. Hey, uh, my friend, I mean, I really hope that, you know, everything will work out. You will, you will go through it. You will go through it. It always helps. It, it always happens, you know, eventually. Eventually, it always happens. You know, like, what you know, guys, what is the amazing and incredible thing about human beings? Human beings are the most lethal, the most lethal human being on the most little being on earth you know and we are an adaptation machine if you're pushing putting stress on you by working out by working on something by training something you are putting stress on you that stress and i'm talking here about positive actually impact of that that stress stressing the muscles stressing yourself with actually trying to draw trying to compose all of those things they're actually impacting you changing you in time because you are an incredible adaptation machine and you are becoming better all the time. You are becoming better all the time. You just need to be really aware of this. Just compare yourself sometime to a week ago, month ago, year ago, 10 years ago. You will see how much better you are. It actually takes sometimes, you know, a bit of a insight to just look back and be like, holy fuck, I was stupid as trunk when I was like, I don't know, 25. Or when I was like, I don't know, 47. Uh, but now when I'm 48, I'm actually feeling so much more capable, I would say. That is it, you know, that's really, um, that's really important, you know, to really think about this. Guadalus, uh, thank you, uh, said thank you for the sub. I just noticed, thank you, Chum. Yes, thank you for whoever gifted um, the sub to uh, Guadalus. I really, really appreciate you guys. Suplan says, face review when? Well, I mean, uh, we will see. We'll see. Uh, I need to really uh, grow uh, balls, you know, to do the face review on camera. So it will take a bit of time. With your studio, you could sell me the car warranty, not gonna lie. Oh, exactly. Exactly, Volpin. That's the case. Good advice, Coach Pavo. Yes. Exactly, exactly. Coach Pavo is here to talk to you. To talk to you. We are here to experience things together. Multiplayer in update 3.0? Holy fuck. What is this? Nor Pine Fryan's life. I don't know how to re read your nick, my friend. I don't know anything about um, a multiplayer 3.0 update. That is insane. Pavo in the suit can sell water to a fish and time to a clock. <laughs> okay, if you say so, if you say so, thank you so much. I feel, um, I feel really, um, I feel really um, good hearing this. Coach Pavo, when life gives you the NDA, yes. I have 5% battery left, pray for me. Uh, Deus Jesus, uh, interesting. Uh, did you beat Elden Ring till the end? No, no, I'm still on the way. I'm still on the way. I've beat recently like a minor um, tree sentinel, one of them. So, NDA masterclass by Pavo, yes. Thank you so much. This is exactly what we are here. Pablo says, Pavo. Will you sell me the insurance against the divorce that awaits me after the premiere of Phantom Liberty? <laughs> my wife won't forgive me for spending all my free time for several weeks playing your expansion. I mean, first of all, you can uh, give your greetings to your wife, uh, Pablo. For everyone here in the chat, we didn't know uh, you have wife that to start with. So first thing, congratulations, my chum. Um, uh, relationships are important in life. So, first thing is, second thing is, I mean, uh, Pablo, you can always tell your wife that it's this, that it's the, um, you know, it's fault of this dude in a suit, in a Twitch, you know? You can always tell her that and be like, this is this, this guy, this guy made me do it, you know? 
in the yeah and i can write you like an excuse letter i can write you an excuse letter and sign it you know what i mean so yes and then uh then i i don't know i can uh, represent you in the court you know i could probably uh impersonate well uh, a lawyer why not Anyway, Pablo, enjoy. I hope your divorce won't happen, actually. You know, maybe uh, maybe uh, you can divorce later with Orion, but not now. You know, not now. Anyway, obviously joking, my friend. Not wishing you that. I hope you will stay healthy and good in your relationship. <laughs> Do you recommend playing immediately after 2.0 update, or is it better to wait a week for the expansion? Um, Mr. Bow 96 There is an theory included in your question that 2.0 is a week before Phantom Liberty, which nobody knows what's the case. You know, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. But in general, Chums, in general, Chums, no matter what happens, no matter what timelines we're living at and so on, you know, um, I, I feel like Pavo in Multiverse of Madness right now. It, no matter of the timelines, no matter of the timelines, I advise you to always play the full game on 2.0. I do. I do. I think it's a fun fucking game. And, um, and I think it's kind of worth it. And I think we worked our asses off to make sure that everything works. The 2.0 works in the base game everywhere. Everywhere. Holy fuck. So... That is the that is my advice. Absolutely, you should play the whole thing, not only Phantom Liberty. Phantom Liberty, you play only if you don't have time. If you if your wife is threatening you to divorce you, that's fine. I get it why you play only Phantom Liberty. That's okay, but nothing below that. Okay, if you get to the divorce level, we can talk. But if you don't, you play the whole thing in 2.0. Okay. That is, uh, in my opinion, the best way to play Cyberpunk 2077 with Phantom Liberty on 2.0. That's the way to do it. <laughs> yes, my friends, I am serious as hell, okay? This is, there's, there's no, I am not joking. Reflex is 20 in the 800, uh, but that is absolutely true. Okay then, my chums. Pavel Goodman, yeah, exactly, Pavel Goodman. Uh, Pavel, with the old changes, do you recommend to play from start? I mean, I just answered that question. Or continue where the game was left? I mean, start from the scratch. I mean, I think like you can continue, of course, where you end. It will be fine. But man, it is so much sweeter. When you play from beginning, so sweet. It's so good, so sweet. When you start from the beginning and you're like, this is what they were doing. Fuck, now I understand. Now I understand, you know, what they were actually doing. This makes complete sense now. I hope that this is what you guys will be thinking. So I'm a role-playing your mind right now. And you'll be like, this works. This is so good. This is all put together. This makes sense. Holy shit, I'm so glad I played 2.0 from the beginning of the game. I'm so glad I listened to his advice, you know. Yes, I am thinking, uh, Chechu, that this is the way you go. Um, Chechu said, I have two builds with clean map, thinking about starting over, Phantom Liberty release. That's even better, my friend. That's such a fantastic coincidence that you have finished everything. You can just jump in and start over from the beginning and just enjoy and, you know, just enjoy, just enjoy. Try something else, I don't know, different builds. Well, nowadays when you get 2.0, it's it's not different, difficult to get a different build because fucking everything's different. So, uh, yes, that is the way I feel. Uh, Susie wrote, can't wait to put out a video on everything, to be honest. Oof. I mean, Susie, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking sit with popcorn. Uh, even though I don't eat this much popcorn, I may make an uh, exception. I will sit with popcorn and watch your video on a big screen here, there, behind me. You know, um, light up my candle, watch that video, put it out, you know, sit and listen and enjoy. You know, you speak about the game. And uh, if gonna smack us for anything, oh fucking hell, it's gonna hurt like three times more. But that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take it, that's okay. 
And yeah, don't guys tell me to to take it personally because you know what? I'm going to absolutely take it personally, 100%. So just telling you. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I'm, I'm of course, you know, uh, I'm of course just um, uh, overreacting here a bit. Uh, you know, uh, it's all fine. It's all fine. It's all fine. Uh, so yes, I am... Um, it's going to be, but yeah, I mean, seriously, I mean, right now, when I imagine myself watching the videos on 2.0 and Phantom Liberty, like, I'm talking about, like, reviews and, like, deeper, like, uh, analysis and so on. Oh, shit, it's going to hurt so much uh, when when it will be criticized. Like, again, I got used to it in The Witcher 3, you know, it's fine. I watched sometimes three, four long hours analysis, but... With Cyberpunk, it hurts so much more. Um, it hurts so much more with Cyberpunk. And again, I watched most of the videos on YouTube. I think it's hard to find a video on YouTube with Cyberpunk that I didn't watch. It must have been some fucking really niche creator that has like three free followers or something. Uh, if this is the if if this is the video that I didn't see on Cyberpunk Critique, so this is what I'm gonna do. It ships, and I just watch everything, all the time. I just watch everything all the time. Yeah. Michael Sasko Jordan taking personally, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> uh, Asha Swelka said, "I mean, Safari gonna be by Pavel's side when reviews come out, right? The men's gonna faint otherwise. Oof. I'm gonna faint anyway, probably, but yeah." Machiavelli said, I take 2.0 and Phantom Liberty very seriously. I literally made the whole week plan for this. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, I am so grateful you guys are part of this community, you know. <laughs> Volpit said, don't make Mr. Sasko mad or you'll get Santa Vista. Oh, God. No, but with all honesty, you know, because I started speaking to uh, to Susie, you know, about her about her video, and then went into talking about my reaction to the various critic pieces. You know, I'm really looking forward, Susie, to actually hear everything you think about, even um, uh, even a critic, okay, even critic. I really, you know, I know you would be honest anyway, so I don't have to ask you for it. But I just wanted to say that, you know, it's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna take it like a man. You know what I mean? I'm gonna take it like a man. I will just sob after, you know? I'll just sob after. I'll take a picture of myself smiling when I watch your review, and then I'll just sob after off the camera. That is the plan. <laughs> that is the plan. Anyway, anyway, I, I hope it will be fine. I hope it will be fine. You know, I got those. God knows there was nothing else we could do. Uh, I could do more than I did. Uh, you know, he looks like Marius Max Coloco. <laughs> Thank you, um, Marcin. Marcin, uh, thank you, Marcin. I am, I'm glad, really. Um, yes, uh, that was definitely like uh, the direction I wanted to take. It's definitely the direction I really wanted to take. So, um, thank you for this comparison. Cyberpunk just passed 500,000 positive reviews on Steam. Congrats to the team. Wow! Really? 500,000? That's fucking insane. Jesus Christ, thank you, Seymour, so much for this information. I don't know. Damn, that sounds great. Pavel just don't go as crazy as Max, though. I mean, we'll see, right? We'll see. We'll see. You know, maybe um, after the reviews drop, I fucking lose it, and that's it. You know, that's it. That's it. Pavel, you look overdressed? No, 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 no. This is literally how I wake up. This is literally how I wake up, so yes. Oh, there is a question when with question mark? You mean when I go um, mad? Well, I don't know. Uh, if you're asking when the reviews drop, I, I don't think that information is public, my friend. So I'm not going to say anything. I uh, don't think I can share it. <laughs> Susie said, I had to step away. Did you guys compliment me? Yeah, we talked about you for like 40 minutes. Like 40 minutes straight. But it's fine, Susie. It's okay. It it, it hurts just it hurts just a bit, you know, so don't worry. Um It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> 
What do you hope the review scores are? I mean, well, I mean, okay, I'll tell you one thing. Like, one thing that I hope the most for is that you guys are happy, okay? This is my, like, step number one. That you guys are happy, okay? Um, because reviewers are really important and, and the score and, and whatnot, it's nice to have a high score. It is. But holy fuck, I hope you guys are, you guys are uh, satisfied with it. I'm, I'm seriously, and I'm talking about all of you here on the stream, you know, because you guys are, you guys, girls, gals, and everyone else, uh, you are here because you probably are interested in the game, you think that, you know, um, it's worth to having this conversation, to meet with the community, to just enjoy uh, everything cyberpunk related. The thing is that I really, really hope that all of you will be happy with what we have done. Um... And again, you know, it's, uh, I hope when the reviews come out and whatever, you guys will see that we didn't take that responsibility lightly, you know, but let's see what happens, you know, let's see what happens. Um, and when it comes to the score, I don't know, man, I mean, you know, I fucking love, I would love us to get a good scores, you know, um, I would love us to get a good scores, just so that, you know, everyone else who wasn't, haven't, haven't been following maybe Cyberpunk, you know, haven't been here, who haven't been watching our red streams or any other things, you know, uh, that those people would just look at it and be like, hey, you know what, this, um, this Cyberpunk game with uh, Keanu Reeves and Idris Elba, um, this Cyberpunk game, it actually is getting a decent reviews now, maybe, uh, maybe it's worth checking it out, you know. Um, I, re I really hope that this will make some people reconsider and try it, you know. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Roma said, well, wishing you all smashing reviews and even better ones from the players. Thank you, Roma, so much. I mean, that would be fucking great. That would be great. But, I mean, you know, it it's like, we'll see. Uh, Thyson. Uh, says, are you expecting at least 90 on Metacritic? I mean, my friend, I fucking hope so. Jesus Christ. I would love it to be like this. But it, will it be? You know, I mean, will it be? 90 is really high, right? Like, it's just a couple games a year that are like uh, uh, AAA games a, a year that are going over 90. You know, so, you know, I, I mean, that would be fucking cool, but... You know how it is. You know how it is, Chum. You just sometimes never know, right? You just sometimes never know. Um, and again, like, we are looking uh, like looking at Baldur's Gate, looking at Starfield, right? Like, last two biggest releases are uh, just before us. You can see that there are some journalists, some media, some influencers that just didn't like the games, right? Even though a lot of them did, there are some that didn't. And again, if you read and watch those reviews that they didn't, you will hear and see... Well, a lot of, I would say, reasonable opinions. Um, so, it is possible, simply, that you have someone who is reviewing your game and just by applying their own sort of expectations and what they like when they don't, just by applying that, they will end up s concluding that it's not as, as good as they hoped for or this is something else that they were hoping for or just it does not really speak to them you know what i mean so it can actually really be like this you know my friend and it's really really difficult to as a creator to sort of get a critical acclaim so wide that actually everyone kind of agrees that game's great um so you know uh again i think baldur's gate is there most people really agree even though some criticize the fact that some parts of the games are unfinished, especially Act 3, or they criticize just some bugs, which, you know, uh, again, it's, I, I think it's just a, uh, a, a fact that, uh, you know, they were, uh, they didn't have maybe enough time for everything. But that being said, you can see that there is a critical acclaim, you know, that the game is is great, you know, and, um, and it has met this uh, critical acclaim, you know. When it comes to Starfield, I, I think the opinions are much more mixed, you know. You can see um, various different um, expectations. Yeah, Machiavelli said Baldur's Gate 3 is not everyone. That's true, actually, right? Like, not everyone is really a fan of this turn-based combat, that kind of view. Even, like, simply high fantasy, you know, or the Grand Dungeons and Dragons, you know. That's also probably not for everyone, you know. So, that's basically what it is, you know. Falcon EID said you guys achieved 90 on Steam. You can do it. Fucking we'll try. We'll fucking try, you know? 
We'll, we'll fucking try, believe me. I think 90 is definitely doable, Roma said. Uh, we'll see. Volpin said 90 on meta will be awesome. It's a very high bar to match. And I'm glad we got so many bangers this year that managed to reach it. Yeah, exactly, Pavel. Well said. Well said, my friend. Looking forward to Cyberpunk 2077 uh, 2.0. Uh, Zibok DK wrote, thank you, my chum, uh, for looking forward to it. I really... I'm really grateful for you, Chums. Okay, then. Um, very competitive year. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, very competitive year. Um, can we get car customization? Harvev uh, asks. My Chum! We talked about what is coming in 2.0 in Phantom Liberty. Roughly, you guys saw that graphics. Actually, maybe I'll just pull it up uh, because that would be probably beneficial for this conversation um so that we can have it basically right away on our screens when we are talking about it so you can see how much stuff we have made and there's shit ton like it's really really a shit ton of things uh that uh we have we have done um so we can see this, right? You can see this. Uh, we've been together with our community team, really looking closely, making sure that in a way we just like, we are like clear and communicative for you and we just show you basically what is coming where. So did you understand and you get it? Um, but in the same time, uh, that we are not spoiling too much, right? Right? And, and that, that, you know, there's not, uh, you know, there, there's, there's no doubt, you know, um, uh, in regards of what is where, but in the same time that you also have um, these sort of surprises, right? That's why you have and much more here at the bottom, right? Um, I, uh, I'm not trying to say that there are some huge, gigantic game-turning features coming, uh, but there's definitely more than on these two pages. So, in free update, you can see redesigned skill tree, Revamped cyberware and new capacity system, vehicle combat and car chases, combat AI improvements, new police system, probably my fucking favorite thing, actually, um, and chases, I think those two. Um, UI and UX, loot items, crafting changes, new radio stations, including community radio, Grohl FM. Those all the things you're getting, guys, for free. Fucking enjoy for everything you've been doing for us, for all of those good reviews, and just with just best wishes from the team i really hope you fucking get it you have fun and you don't have to buy phantom liberty if you just want to go in and just enjoy just fucking go in enjoy check it out if you don't want to uh if you don't want to um, uh buy the expansion because you don't know what the hell we've been doing don't buy it go in and fucking check 2.0 and see it there's a question uh, when from logan volverino Logan Vol Volverino, we will talk about it when we are ready, my friend, uh, my friend. We will talk about it when we are ready, okay? Um, so yes, uh, I just I just wanted to make sure you guys know it all, basically. This is the way how I think, uh, how a lot of the people in the team think. Uh, people are asking, what is UX? UX is user experience. So by UX in, in video games, uh, we define all of the... I would say you guys call it uh, quality of life. So basically all of the quality of life improvements that are actually uh, coming in, they normally fall into this UX category. This is how officially you call it. I've never seen Pavo so confident. I mean, Guadalus, it can't be just drugs, right? Like you never know. You never know. So don't trust it. Don't trust it, my friend. We talked about Church of Skeptics, only some, only some hype allowed, nothing else, okay? Don't trust it. Don't trust it, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Pavos and crack. <laughs> it can't be just drugs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's uh, I'm just I'm just dopamine junkie. You know what I mean? I'm just dopamine junkie. And uh, thankfully, my brain is actually producing shit ton of it. Uh, you know, normally. Uh, pa Pavo, pa Pavo Escobar. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to say, don't do drugs, chums. Don't do drugs, chums. Do shit in life that gives you dopamine. And, and just enjoy the high, you know? But natural high. Don't do drugs. Natural high, okay? And, uh, exactly. Don't do drug kids. Just suit up. Exactly as Bartek, Bartek told you. So, so, this is what's coming in 2.0, right? As I said. Now, looking at the expansion, right? What is coming in expansion? 
We have the Dogtown, so dangerous new district. We have brand new storyline, lots of fucking quests and whatnot. And you have their quest gigs, you have the boss fights, which I'm actually kind of kind of proud of. Um, you have vehicle missions and airdrops, and those are basically our endless dynamic events. You guys been asking what the fuck it is, what are the fuck these endless events and so on. This is the airdrop and this is the vehicle gigs, basically. Uh, those two are happening uh, like this uh, in a repeatable fashion, but they're highly randomized, they're AI driven. I really like them. I hope you enjoy them. Uh, I actually, like in between when I like actually play some quests in Phantom Liberty, I really like running up to one of them and just doing them basically for fun. Uh, for shits and giggles, uh, for just like some cool action. If you really want to do it, uh, I think this is a great way uh, to just jump on it. Um, Greybeard said, I am so sure of Phantom Liberty, I pre-ordered it as soon as it was available. Thank you so much, my friend, for all that support. It really means a lot because, like, that means that we have fucking salaries, you know? And when we have salaries, well, you know, we can actually work. And we can we can work well. We can make shit for you. So that's the way it works. Uh, I'm really thankful for that. Uh, but again, do not feel pressured that you have to pre-order. Uh, be skeptical uh, if you want to be. Check 2.0 for free and see what we have made. Again... The last thing, all new Relic Tree, 100 new items, weapons, cyberware, cars, and fashion. My friends, this point, this point is underselling it so much. <laughs> we called it 100 plus. <laughs> okay, there's a lot there, okay? Uh, by, by, this plus is actually pretty large. <laughs> Let's call it like this, okay? This fucking plus is actually pretty large last, uh, uh, large plus, okay? I'm not gonna tell you how much, but I know. Uh, but I'm not gonna tell you how, my, how many, but it's, it's, it's more than 100, okay? It's not 102, or like 101, uh, and I'm not overselling this 100. I actually think, really, it's, uh, it's many more, um, especially in that fashion category, okay? So, I just wanted you to know it. My troops. Vehicle missile launchers, yes, because the weaponized, weaponized vehicles are coming, of course, and then the level cap is increased. I just wanted to go uh, through this, uh, through those things with you, because I think this is very important to talk about. But there is more! There is more to discuss. Let me actually... Let me actually put some music a bit louder, because I wanted to watch, to check another thing with you. Uh, let me take a look at the questions. Uranium bullet! Are the medical items now infinitely usable with cooldown? Um, or do you still have to buy, find, craft them? Hmm. I am not 100% sure, Uranium Bullet, of the answer of all of the nook and crannies of your question. Like, I know it quite well, but I'm not 100% sure, so I will restrain myself from commenting, just not to give you the incorrect information. Like, I think that what our gameplay tip did is fun, and it's usable, and it works well. I'm not gonna go into buy, find, craft because of the fact that I don't want to mislead you. Because I'm not 100% sure of the question, okay? So... Um, yes. Uh, Oricon asks, uh, will the Hunters dispatch in the new ways to play trailer roll out just of the new vehicle geeks or in other cases too? Oricon said, um, well, I mean, so this is the part, of course, on those vehicle geeks that was mentioned. It's a part of the, uh, chases in the game. So that is the answer, on my tune. So in a way, other cases too, but primarily, primarily, my friend vehicle geeks is like a showcase sort of um, I would say content that is a showcase of that mechanics, okay? Uh, would I was shook spread? Would I was shook spread asks, will there be any exciting perks for Netrunners? My friends, my friends, let me tell you. There is one, I think, that was already officially revealed that I actually personally fucking love. And it's actually really fun when you're playing as a Netrunner. And again, it was revealed, so I'm not revealing anything new, unless you guys didn't see it, so that will be new then for you. And uh, I will make the music a bit more quiet. And that is, my friends, an option for you in the Relic Tree to actually be able to slot 
the quick hack into your mono wire. So what happens is when you use the strong attack, that strong attack is able to apply that quick hack. So actually you can create pretty much a Lucy playstyle, you know, from Edriners. I actually really fucking like it. It's actually really fun um, when you can like pretty much make that kind of a uh, um, build. Uh, and it's really really cool uh, to do it like this. So this is just one of the few. Uh, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be going more into this uh, because again I don't want to spoil anything. This was revealed somewhat, so uh, that's why I'm mentioning this. Uh, this stream is not stream about me revealing shit to you. It's about me commenting on things that have been revealed because that is the uh, border of my NDA. And again, uh, my NDA is gonna kill me if I'll tell you too much. Yes, that's what I wanted since launch. Kian Sor wrote, I'm glad, my chum. <laughs> Machiavelli asked, which one is your more difficult? Kurt fight or smasher fight? No comment. Nothing. Nothing. No spoilers. No. No. This is verboten. Verboten. Das sind verboten. Genau. Klar, alles klar, verboten. I hope that uh, this makes it clearer. Ja, yeah, ist klar, Sparkling wrote. That is good. I'm dying here, Galaxy One said. Why are you dying? Your Spanish is great. <laughs> uh, my Spanish is great. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, uh, Asha. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Quasel said, I'm dying. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> this is in the different part. <laughs> I got this though. I don't know German. What about the Songbird boss fight? I am not going to spoil anything. Papa is the best entertainer ever. I, I don't know. I, I, I'm glad it's entertaining for you. But I think it says a lot about you, Cyber Vest Night. You know, that that kind of shit is entertaining for you. I love Portuguese accent, Pavo. Uh, uh, thanks. <laughs> you guys are so funny. You guys are so funny. Can you say when did you start working Phantom Liberty? Our uh, first conversation started just as we were finishing uh, Cyberpunk 2077. But those were like first conversations. Was it right after the launch or even before? Uh, as I said, as we were finishing, so it was basically, I don't know, a month before the release of Cyberpunk, maybe uh, less, we started having first conversations. So it wasn't a work yet. It was like early ideation. We started discussing, okay, Trooms, what now? What is the next steps? What not? You know, and so on. Then shit hit the fan. Then we were doing the patches. Then the hack happened. Then fucking everything world collapsed. So, um, uh, but basically this is, I would say, the first moment when we started working. But like actual work didn't start for a bit of time, you know. Um, and again, I don't remember exactly when. Maybe like half a year or something um later uh when we started like actually producing stuff uh but yeah it, it took a bit of time because like we you have to have those conversations and you have to like figure out what the fuck you want to do in a game right you need to figure out okay what is gonna be there you know what's the direction what we want to build you know and so on so it wasn't like so easy to like say right away and again if you make complex games it, it takes complex conversations and it takes long time to discuss those things how is unreal engine going it's going fine <laughs> i think it's going fine i think so uh unreal engine well i mean i don't know if you saw it epic shipped uh unreal point uh 5.3 uh recently with some actually cool add-ons including um including nanine landscapes which i'm actually really hyped about because before you had to build landscapes out of fucking pieces of meshes to make it actually properly work with nanite so i'm so glad that they actually shipped the uh nanite landscapes with it again those of you who don't know what the fuck he's talking about he's just lost it don't worry just ignore him um, you know, uh, for uh, all other devs and, and people who uh, they know what the hell I'm talking about, you probably um, are equally hyped for uh, Nanite Landscapes because my chooms, um otherwise uh, it would have been uh, difficult. 
That, that is it. Uh, I am not going to uh, add anything more. Lord Sin 34. For 100 plus items, are there... Are there going to be more combat drugs added into the game that focus more on passive buffs like in The Witcher when you take concoctions? There are consumables that are uh, updated and quite I'm quite sure that there are consumables that are added. But exactly your your uh, your question so are there going to be more combat drugs? Um that the focus more on passive buffs like the Witcher when you take concoctions. I am not sure to be honest. That's not something I've been focusing on in my tomb because my part is narrative, is narrative, and I know a lot about art and some about gameplay. Uh, however, this is really deeply about RPG uh, stuff, so I wouldn't know my tomb. I'm sorry. Sparta, Spartan guy asked, I'm going to guess that he can't answer, but any of the bosses have been reworked due to the enemy AI overhaul. Um, what I can say is like, we looked at the back at the base game, of course, you know, and for 2.0, a lot of the things got some kind of facelift. Sometimes it was bigger, sometimes it was smaller, sometimes it was almost close to nothing. So it really, really depends on from case to case basis. Uh, when it comes to the bosses specifically, of course, you need really we really had to make sure that they work with the new uh, gameplay add-ons. Uh, and I think this is where I have to stop uh, answering this question, my chum. Um, as as much as I can say. So yep, I can say we looked into them. That's I think the biggest the as most as much as i can say that's it you know so yes okay um jesus christ there's so much on this chat uh lord sin said i appreciate it no problem my chum um mazar mazar fix says hello hello jesus christ the chat scrolled this is my first time catching your stream here hello my friend Nice to have you with us live. I've been watching your streams on YouTube for the longest time, looking sharp. By the way, can't wait for Phantom Liberty. Uh, Masharfik, nice to have you with us, my friend. Thank you for the compliment. I am really, really hoping you're gonna enjoy Phantom Liberty so much that you will feel it was worth it. Um, I am really hoping for it. Will there be possible to repeat first equip animations for Gun in 2.0? Shavy game, I don't know. Guys, you ask so such a difficult questions. I am fucking squeezing my brain. I actually don't know. I actually don't know. To be honest. So yeah, I don't know. No. You just um in Polish we say Zabit Klina. That's how I feel. Uh, after this question. That's how I feel. How do you guys decide when to stop supporting a game? Well, I mean, I guess when we will decide that we have said the final word about it, and we didn't. And we fucking didn't. And, uh, yeah, um, you know, there's good Polish saying, another one that I can say, which is Pomoim uh, Trupie. Which is, I don't know how to fucking translate that. But I am going to put everything that I have in this body. Over my dead body, yes. I'm going to put everything that I have in this fucking body to make sure that you guys are happy. Okay? Why dress so sharp today? Well, because 16 days from now, Phantom Liberty ships, and I'm not going to be here, actually, in the next week and next week, to celebrate with you because I have some trips connected to the release, Phantom Tour and whatnot, so... I, unfortunately, I will be working, of course, you know, it's not that I'm taking vacation, guys. This is not my style, I am fucking grinding. But I really make, need to make sure that I am there in places where I need it, and I will be traveling um, to make sure that we are presenting the game properly in everywhere, ev all the places, and I want to be with the team and contribute and help them. So this is what I will be doing. Um, that's why today we celebrate, you know, we celebrate already that we're so close. And I just wanted to, you know, this is how I feel. This is how I feel when Phantom Liberty comes out. Exactly like this. So, 
I wanted to uh, pick a proper attire. Samuel Amadeu said a foot massage would make me really happy now. Interesting. I hope that someone, someone, you have someone there uh, who can uh, provide you with that uh, foot massage, my chum. Let's play, let's play some of this because I really like it. Pavo Sasko, John Wick style, exactly. Hey Pavo, just wanted to ask, can I, what? I saw that one of the headlights on some of the cars are not working. I saw this issue in the Phantom Liberty trailers as well. Are you aware of this issue or there's some reason for it? I actually don't think that there it's a it's an issue, uh, to be honest, uh, CZ, uh, CZ James. Uh, because like those headlights were supposed to work like this. Because you are talking about the fact that they have like one like major lamp and so on. So I am not a uh, vehicle designer, so I cannot like really tell you exactly what is the reasoning for it. But that is what our uh, vehicle team wanted to do with our lightning team. So this is not a bug. This is the intended behavior. This is the intended behavior, CD James. Again, I don't really know 100% like what are, what are the reasons and why they decided to go with this like this, but that is intended, my true. Yes. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay then, my chums. Um It's not about it's a feature exactly. Exactly. Uh, Machiavelli says, oh, that's interesting, actually, I like your question, Machiavelli. Why Idris Elba is not a part of marketing like Keanu Reeves? I sometimes forget Idris Elba is in the game. Well, I mean, we shall see. Did marketing campaign finished? Anyway, my chums, I am not trying to hit anything, but, uh, believe me. But yes, uh, the marketing campaign didn't finish because when it finishes, never. Uh, but definitely not before the release. Uh, small Sandayo Kira, thank you so much for being here with us. Kira said just popping in for a second to say hi to Val, Brian, and me. Toast. Oh, from from Valerie, Silver, and Brian, and me toasting on your stream before Phantom Liberty in Amsterdam. That is awesome. Uh, give them my greetings, you know, I have met them in uh, on Promised Land and it was wonderful. It was really, really uh, wonderful and I'm really happy. So Kira, hug them from me. Hug them from me, yes. Dude, looking good, Pavo. Thank you, Vertex Mars. Thank you, thank you. This is how you celebrate. This is how you properly celebrate, you know. Do we get some awesome side quests in Phantom Liberty? I don't know, I hope they will be fine. I think they're uh, quite okay. Naturally, I wanted to have some okay content. Obviously, I want some okay content. Will there be more bangers like this in the expansion? Well, our composers are fucking insane, so... I mean, absolutely, I kinda feel that there will be... There will be more bangers like this, because those guys... Are absolutely unfucking fucking They are, they are, my chums. One last question, and we're gonna check something else. Will we see, um... I played PS4 version, of course, it was something. <laughs> But now on PS5 and we're playing, but I still don't know if I should now just wait or continue. Justice me. Uh, just 
I, my, uh, I don't know, my friend, if I need read your uh, nick correctly. My chum, I will think that probably right now it's best to wait. Just uh, take your time, chill, relax, you know, maybe play some other game, maybe play some Cyberpunk 2. You're, you're cool, but definitely, 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 like, like, definitely, when 2.0 ships, you go and go and try from the beginning and just enjoy the sweet 2.0 from scratch, just enjoy sweet 2.0 from scratch. Pavo said Cyberpunk 2 confirmed. Well, I mean, uh, we were talking about uh, Project Orion before, didn't we? So in a way, absolutely. Okay, chums, let's do some hype shit, shall we? Shall we? This fucking slaps, doesn't it? God damn it. Jesus. Will the game still look even better without RT Overdrive? I mean, the game looks amazing anyway. Like, <laughs> I think even in mid settings it looks great. But holy fuck, this is, this is just so good. Like, um, I love working with this guy. Uh, you know, uh, Mushik, who is doing the... Um, uh, who, who is doing... Who was doing... Uh, this video, I absolutely, absolutely love him. Like, this is just so fucking hype. Uh, you know, such a, like, I would say such a, a montages are so fun, you know. And there's actually so much stuff, basically, that you can see uh, in this clip already, you know, how the gameplay feels and so on, so... Pavel, uh, what can you tell us about these new strange-looking opponents? They don't look like Bargest or any of the old gangs. Uh, which strange looking opponents? You mean any of them? Well, there's actually a bunch of different things we didn't talk about. Uh, kind of hinted in this video. I don't know how to say it. Uh, because there are some that are Bargest, but there are some that are not. So, I assume you are actually referring to this. Uh, but I am not going to go more into this Pablo. Because obviously you are trying to fish for information yes uh pavo are you the most experienced quest designer in the studio um kind of because there's also your anna radomska right asha is uh in the studio i think two years um two years or three years almost more than me so uh she is since which one right i am since witcher 2 and asha is since witcher 1 so I have that in mind, she is a uh, much more experienced quest designer than me, you know. Where I can find this trailer? It was posted on our Twitter. I will, uh, in a moment, link you my friend on the uh, chat. Or actually, let me do it right away. Uh, why not? So that you guys can, can watch it. So basically here, you have the link. Uh, here you go, my friends. Enjoy and joy. This is basically the video that I had uh, running at the back here when we've been talking. So uh, we can we can have it. We can have it go. 
Yes. Simar, do you think that the recent release of Baldur's Gate 3 and Starfield will affect the gamers and journalists expecting from RPG like Phantom Liberty expansion? Well, I mean, um, it's natural, my friend, that things uh, influence each other. It's natural that journalists and influencers will have um, both Starfield and Baldur's Gate in mind when uh, reviewing uh, Phantom Liberty. But again, you know, this is not new for me. I sort of expected that, you know, uh, two years ago, uh, sort of, well, maybe at that time we didn't know yet the release uh, date of of uh, Baldur's Gate and uh, Starfield, but, uh, you know, at some point it was already known that we are already close, right, to each other. So in a way it's not a surprise to me, and yeah, absolutely, I mean, I do expect them to have different expectations and just take it into account, that's the normal, absolutely normal thing that happens, you know, like if someone would release a game of, um, let's say, similar to Witcher 3, you are like, okay, well, it's again uh, a Witcher 3, just just slightly different. So it's natural, you know, that you know different expectations come as we as uh, industry develop, as new games come out, as basically new technology is discovered and so on, because all of those things impact each other, you know. So naturally, naturally, my friend, I do expect them to uh, to feel like this. Uh, I think that it would be kind of foolish of me if I wouldn't, you know? That is, that's basically the situation. It was not posted on YouTube, I uh, wanna watch it in 4K. X-Pros, I mean X-Pros, I don't, uh, so I didn't see it on YouTube, my friend, so maybe it will be in YouTube. I'll actually ask uh, our um, community team if we're gonna plan, if we are planning to do it, because like, this is uh, probably more uh, of a video for like social media, you know, something that get embedded in a tweet and share and, and whatnot, or on an, or an, um, Facebook, uh, you know, Instagram and, and whatnot. I don't really, I don't really think that um, it was intended for YouTube per se. But again, I don't know. I'll just ask. You know, uh, Pavel, you look so elegant, Raf. Raf, I mean, this is how I just woke up. I barely like woke up. Literally today, and I was already in the suit, and I was like, you know what, I, I just, I'll just wear it today then. If it already happens, that's fine, you know, if it already happened. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Susanna, uh, Susanna Horia, nice to have you with us. Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, Cyberpunk TikTok videos are fire as well. Yeah, I actually like the fact that we are just kind of simply using TikTok TikTok as well to just show the videos and so on because I think that that is the way to just talk to young people in a way uh, and by young I mean 18 plus uh, obviously because again I'm 48 so um, you know for me you guys all are very young um, that's the reality you know um, uh, makes no sense to compare games especially when they are different from each other but it's clear it's gonna happen uh, happen Gibbles said well I mean Gibbles uh, that's the thing you know there are I think factors in which you can compare I don't know uh, a complexity of the main story you know an ambition of a main story a uh, visuals right there are some factors that you can compare you know a again if you are comparing visuals of a linear game a small linear game let's say I don't know last of us versus a large open world like cyberpunk uh, then maybe it's not completely fair but again uh, cyberpunk fares uh, quite well you know against uh, the uh, even even them so you know um Sasko is in his old man era. <laughs> Pavo is 28. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying I'm 48 because fucking everyone, when I say I'm 38, everyone jokes that I'm 48. So I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's so funny when I joke, when, when I joke like 48 and then someone is like trying to give me a compliment and they look like, dude, you look like maybe 44. I'm like, yeah, I know it's crazy, right? I'm like, yeah, it's crazy. Just, uh, it's a. a <laughs> I'm like, it's it, it's crazy how this, uh, you know, uh, just Polish sausage and uh, Polish Polish kielbasa and pierogi can get you in life. You know, that's basically how it works. Yes, Pablo, you look like 25 year old developer, my friend, supplant, but mentally. Mentally, I'm fucking 80, you know? This is how, how destroyed I am. Just by life, you know, and, and everything, you know? 
<laughs> That's basic. Mentally, I'm, I'm, I'm basically nothing short but 80. Which movies would you recommend while waiting for Phantom Liberty? Bridge of Spies, Tinker Tailor, Soldier Spy, uh, Ocean's Eleven, uh, last four Bond movies, um, Mission Impossible even, um, The Born Identity. Probably those. Why I would not recommend um, Escape from New York? I would probably recommend Escape from New York, yeah. As, uh, that is that is true, that is true. What else I would recommend? Um, maybe uh, Fifty Shades of Grey, I think. That is probably like the cherry on top. That is the last one I would add here to this, uh, uh, to this uh, sphere of inspirations. I think that would be probably the... Um, that would be probably the best. Austin Powers, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, <laughs> 50 Shades. <laughs> Will there be a uh, Arab Smasher fight uh, rework? Uh, sh shavy Game Ask. My chum, I just answered that question a moment ago that uh, we have looked into uh, the boss fights, of course, you know, by doing like all of those large gameplay reworks and so on. But I cannot go more into uh, detail. There are some elements that we had to change or adapt or update, uh, but there are some that we. Uh, we uh, just backfixed and kept it as they did this, right? Because it's, it's not possible, humanly possible, to while doing the expansion in the same time perform such a large rework. And anyway, we have done quite a lot, you know, uh, my friend. So I would say I, I don't think you should expect like full fledged sort of rework of everything in base game because this is just unreasonable, right? Besides, like, there are some parts of base game that actually work really well, right? So uh, just have that in mind, my friend. Fifty Shades of NDA, that is probably exactly the, the one that the way I would recommend. You want Adam Smasher to smash me? Okay, Machiavelli said. <laughs> Sepurta said, Adam Smasher is Fifty Shades of Keck. Okay, Fifty Shades of Keck W. Yes. Uh, Backsax6670 uh, uh, says, Pavo, my man, just give us some detective noir quests and I will be in eternal gratitude. Well, we will see, my friend, what you will say after Phantom Liberty and if it scratches the inch or itch or if it doesn't. And then, well, we talk about, I guess, another game if it doesn't, you know. Are we going to go finally to Crystal Palace, Greybeard says. Well, Greybeard, you know the answer. It's the Fifty Shades of DNA. Uh, NDA, sorry, is the is the answer. Bartek Pirko said the new boss fights are dope. I can wait to play uh, people to play it. I will just specify that Bartek meant the Phantom Liberty uh, content uh, here. Um, I just joined. Why he's in the suit? Chris asks. Chris, because you know what, we had a conversation with the chat, and we were like, you know what, Chris is gonna show up today on the stream. So, I'm gonna fucking suit up and just greet him properly. So, my tomb, welcome to the Church of Skeptics. No hype allowed. We here sit down and just discuss everything related to Cyberpunk. That is really the reason, my friend. Another reason, but this is much less important, is the fact that we've been working on a Phantom Liberty, as you probably heard of, a small game that is coming out soon. And it's 16 days to be shipped. And uh, I am going to be away on like some, you know, trips connected to the release. Because of that, I won't be able to stream. Therefore, I'm here. So we are celebrating Phantom Liberty Sweet 16. That is basically the reason. So, you know, it's because you are here and it's because we Phantom Liberty is 16. That is the case, my chum. That is the case, my chum. Well, um, Machiavelli asks, what do you think about Kurt Hansen? We know Joni hates him for some reason. Loki, he sounds the most interesting character to me. I mean, I'm glad, uh, Machiavelli, you uh, like the character. Uh, definitely was loads of work uh, to get him right. Uh, I cannot say anything about him because I will have to spoil you the story. Like we said some things about him, but I think like going further into any detail would mean spoiling the game. So I'll just leave you the enjoyment. We're gonna meet here on a stream and uh, well, 
we're gonna meet here on the stream and we're gonna talk and you will tell us what you thought. Uh, Conrad says, I just keep hearing Machiavelli because that is the nickname of Machiavelli. So uh, that is actually correct. We like okay games, Asha said, yes, yes. Um, Church of Okay by Pastor Pavo. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. Um, Oricon says, hypothetical question. What do you think about tur tur turning NCPD hustles from static events into dynamic ones? For example, each in a game day, a few of them would trigger at random times and some might have a timer since criminals move on. The player could discover hustles by themselves on the map or tap into NCPD comms. There's over 50 hustles, so I had plenty of content for an entire playthrough and would help make the world feel more alive. Uh, Oricon, interesting question. I mean, we had some conversation uh, with Gabe, actually, about this topic. Uh, we decided um, we decided uh, not to tinker with this too much. Uh, however, we tinkered a bit. Um, I am not going to tell you more because I would have to reveal things that I, ca I cannot do. And today, again, we, have, uh, we are at 50 Shades of... Uh, we are at 50 Shades of NDA. So, uh, we definitely uh, looked into it and thought about it. I cannot say more. Um, we didn't go exactly into the direction you are saying. Uh, so, do not expect that uh, in like 2.0 or anything like this. This is not what we wanted to do. But again, this is not because the idea is bad. This is mostly because we had to be reasonable with all of the reworks we've been running, right? In the same time, we had to make the expansion for you chums that will be compelling and intriguing and something that you will like. Pavel, are there still stealth takedowns in the game? Absolutely, uh, Misho. Of course there are stealth takedowns. Um, uh, you look sharp, Pavel. Uh, Amiens said, thank you, Amiens, so much, my friend. That was the idea, uh, you know, for today's stream. What do you think about Uncharted games? I mean, I'm a fan, to be honest. I finished all Uncharted games. Uh, on, um, uh, I finished all Uncharted games, yes, uh, with, with no exclamation to it. I really, really enjoyed them. Uh, like, I think, like, probably my favorite is Uncharted 3. Uncharted 4 and, and the last one, the 4.5, as they call it, was nice as well. So, but I think, like, 3 was probably the one when I, that I enjoyed the most, uh, from all of them. And uh, what I think about them, well, I mean, they're like linear movie-like experiences, you know, with fairly, like, limited gameplay possibilities, I would say. Gameplay is there more to trigger, you know, the next piece of narrative or no next exciting sequence in the game uh, rather than for anything else, my friend. So I do, I, um, but I enjoy it uh, nevertheless, you know, uh, acting there, you know, the stories are also quite interesting, you know. Uh, sometimes, you know, maybe the, the, the story, because those are, again, those are just adventure games, so because of that, they do um, have, um, they, they don't have much depth, I would say, uh, which I would probably really enjoy to just see a game like this from uh, Naughty Dog and again, The Last of Us, which I actually liked more, I think, than Uncharted at the end uh, was uh, an attempt to really make something uh, like this. Yes, that's what I would say. Oh, my friend. Hello, do we get the new improved graphics with 2.0 or Phantom Liberty? Well, I mean, you get DLS 3.5, for instance. Uh, there are some other things, but I cannot speak about them. Um, but you get this so because that was already revealed, so I can actually say it, you know. So in that way, you will get uh, that uh, for sure, you know. And, uh, you know, the uh, DLS 3.5 is the ray reconstruction technology that, you know, NVIDIA and us have been working on. I hope you enjoy because that shit makes the game look crisp as hell. Um, my friends, um, my friends, my friends, uh, is this bathtub stream? I was told there was bathtub. Uh, the bathtub stream is, is, uh, as we ship uh, Orion, you know, so uh, the um, uh, next uh, Cyberpunk game. As we ship Orion, you know, a Cyberpunk sequel, it's gonna be a bathtub stream, uh, 100%. 100%, you know, it's gonna be like, you know, it's gonna be a couple years of me streaming, so I hope we're gonna meet in like a couple million people here live, you know, uh, just enjoying the game together. 
Uh, that is the plan, my friend. That is the plan. Where can I find a link to your OnlyFans, my friend? I will send it to you in a moment, actually. Uh, no problem whatsoever. Uh, I will actually stop this and uh, here you go. Here is my OnlyFans link. Uh, just in case if you guys want to uh, check me out, uh, here you go. I post uh, sometimes uh, pictures and videos and, uh, you know, I talk to uh, people really closely. Um, you know, it's... a uh, yeah, uh, that, that is the one, so f uh, here you go. Uh, <laughs> I'm already subbed to that one. I mean, that is great. My Chum, I really appreciate you. Uh, you guys are the best. That's always nice. Um, it's always, that's always nice. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Cyber Vesta, I'm seeing, I'm seeing your, I'm seeing your uh, beeb. Uh, that is, uh, that is uh, actually cool. Yes. Mm. <laughs> this, is, this is not a joke. I uh, thank you, Cyber Vesta, for your tweet. That is actually pretty funny. Uh, uh, actually. <laughs> he was born to be a meme. What do you mean, Cyber Vesta? I am not even... I am not even gonna cosplay... Uh, cosplay. Comment on this. I am not even gonna comment on this. Okay then, my chums, time for some more bangers, uh, uh, shall we? We should do like a dance classes at some point, guys, together, basically. I can show you some of uh, cyber uh, salsa moves and bachata, you know? Will there be an OST of Phantom Liberty? I mean, the game has music. Cosplaying as Pablo Sasco, yeah. So, my friends. I think it's time to show you something else and discuss it. So, uh, there was a question already who created this banger. I believe it's Piot, it's P.T. Adamczyk, uh, of course, in uh, cooperation with all our other uh, fantastic composers, uh, like Marcin Przybyłowicz. Uh, so, my dears, that is the situation. Uh, thank you for jamming with me. Thank you for jamming with me. So, we're gonna look at something else. We gotta look at something else. I want to show you this. This is such an amazing thing. And I'm so proud of this, actually. I'm so proud of this, guys. Uh, I cannot tell you too much of a background story yet about this whole thing, you know, but eventually, um, eventually I will, uh, you know, at some point when we are going to when we are going to um, uh, talk and when you guys played. Um, so we'll see. This is, of course, Lizzie Weezy. And she is wearing like a hair headpiece. I'm not going to tell you how it's called. She's wearing like a headpiece that was designed by Ikeuchi himself, uh, which is actually a legendary like designer who was a huge inspiration for us, for Pavel Milnichuk, so our art director for Cyberpunk. And you can actually see it this is actually made live. This is not a render. This is not a render. What do you see here? This is not a render. This is an actual picture of an actual item, you know? Because basically the way Ikuchi works, he actually makes those physically. This is physically made, right? It's an, uh, it's an amazing thing. It was actually shown during a Phantom Liberty tour in Tokyo. Uh, because, of course, you know, Ikeuchi is Japanese, so we want to show some of the things there. So, so amazing. I am really, really so hyped for this. Um, like, actually, the, the gear, the, the headgear piece is, like, a, really a piece of art, almost, uh, you know. And again, I am not going to, um, uh, I am not going to actually talk more, uh, about the background of this, because, like, I could, but, uh, again, uh, it's still, 
too early, you know, we will we are gonna talk about it after the release, you know. Um here you can have an, another shot like on fast, so like you know, uh straight at the face. Uh just some on fast shot of this. I'm really uh I'm really really happy the way it actually turned out, the colors, the structure, uh everything looks actually so fucking cool. And here you actually have an actual cosplayer. She was uh, basically cosplaying like uh, she was actually uh, cosplaying the uh, Lizzy Weezy there, wearing that gear piece uh, during the Phantom Liberty tour in Japan. So good, so good, so good. I'll actually show you even more stuff, guys. I'll actually show you even more stuff. Let me actually um, really quickly. Well, let me actually really quickly jump to this. Um, so, um, where is it? Uh, because I really wanted to show you this. Uh, this cosplayer actually, she recorded like a video with that. And I just want to show you this. Where the hell? Jesus Christ. I put too many things um, on my Twitter sometimes. Okay. Okay, chums. Okay. Uh, let's let's look at this video. Let's look at this video. Uh, I am go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna show you this uh, here. Take a look, my chums. Take a look, my chums. Such an exciting, such an exciting thing, you know, like uh, this cosplay of Lizzy Weezy, you know, with the music, of course, you know, and so on. And again, you can see the headgear of Ikeuchi that she's actually wearing on her head. I will in a second send you the link to this creator, this cosplayer, so we can follow her on Twitter or in other places if you are interested. Of course, you know, um, very, very fucking cool thing. Nice cosplay, Pava, well done. Well, I mean, it's not my cosplay, as you can imagine. Um, it's here as a as a cosplay artist. And I'm actually so happy that we are doing all of those things in like different countries and so on, showing different things. Uh, this is actually so hype, you know, really. Uh, and you can see hair, right, with the, with the headpiece. Really cool, yeah. I really like also the hair, as she has. Very cool combination. They literally nailed the cosplay like perfectly, Miranda Scream said. That's awesome. Uh, that's awesome. Nice to have you with us, Miranda, by the way. Uh, great that you're here. Uh, always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. <laughs> Epic moment here. <laughs> uh, me and Gibbles are from the Cyberpunk Church. Amen. So Lizzy Weezy is going to be involved. I don't know. I don't know if she's going to be involved. I didn't see a... I didn't see a... I didn't see... A laughing Devils that played a new TikTok gameplay? Oh, I'll need to... I'll need to check it because I didn't see it. Uh, Mr. Hale. Mr. Hale said, I'm a US citizen and I want to learn Polish. How hard would it be to learn Polish? Uh, and do you recommend any tips and tools? I mean, my friend. Polish is one of the 400 uh, 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 um, most difficult languages in the planet. Together with Finnish and with Chinese. And I, I forgot the fourth one. So, uh, and it's one of the languages that qualifies that you need 10,000 hours of... Um, 10,000 hours of uh, conscious effort and learning to actually learn it. And Hungarian? Oh, I didn't know. I thought Hungarian was lower, actually, on the scale. Uh, I think, like, at the top you have Finnish. And then Chinese, and then uh, Polish, and maybe Hungarian is next. I'm not sure. No, Czech, Czech is much lower, actually, in the category, from what I know. From what I know. 
But anyway, what I'm trying to, uh, nothing tops German. I mean, German's not that difficult, to be honest. German has fairly simple grammar in comparison to, um, in comparison to a Slavic languages, my friend. You know, that is the reality. Uh, and, you know, uh, like, I, 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 I get it. Sorry. <laughs> I was not intended. I get it. You uh, you probably speak German, so that's why you said it here. Yeah, but you know, it, it, German is fairly fairly simple, uh, all things considered. You know, um, it, I'm talking about grammar, complexity of the language, and so on. So, uh, yeah, ger German is is really German is just slightly more difficult. Um, is just slightly more difficult English. That's what it is. You know. <laughs> And again, I don't want to make it sound weird, you know, German, G German is an interesting language, you know, in its own. Uh, and, you know, I know, I studied it for many years, so, yeah, Deo Didas, exactly. Deo Didas, uh, absolutely. Um, anyway, uh, anyway, um, nice to, uh, nice that uh, you're all chums uh, with us here. Uh, now, I wanted to actually show you something else. Uh, even more, uh, I have on my, um, <laughs> I have uh, on my slate, um, um, my th <laughs> show nudes, uh, Machiavelli says, I don't really n have any nudes to show, um, at least the, the nudes I can show, uh, so, uh, uh, um, if, uh, like, temporarily forgive me, uh, but not showing any, uh, not showing any nudes, uh, that's not the plan, no, um, uh, at least not 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 now not uh, for this uh, stream, yes, uh, my tune. So um, anyway, I just wanted to show you uh, the pictures of uh, this uh, creator, and of course, you know, we we talked about her a moment ago. It's this one, amazing, amazing fucking cosplay. I am going to link her uh, page to you guys in a moment. Um, so. Uh, hopefully you can uh, check her out um, as well. Uh, I am just checking if there's anything more that I can uh, post you. So uh, this is the creator, the, the video of We Watched. This is hair. Jasmine 20, 21, uh, that is uh, the uh, person, that video we've been watching just a moment ago. Um, you can have... Um, I am checking if there's anything else I can actually show you from that front um but probably i can't really uh let me really quickly see it um mm, no not really not really oh god she has like so much cool cosplay by the way yeah there are actually there are actually some really awesome pictures you know of hair actually with that cosplay so you can check it out uh you know if you're interested uh really really cool and um, actually the fact that we have managed to uh get this uh very cool creator to basically be uh to to uh check it out uh, and to basically prepare to prepare things for us uh look at this you know very very awesome um okay then my chums uh, i am seriously there because there's just so much that happened i'm checking if i didn't miss anything but hopefully i fucking didn't mm. there are some pictures from ign uh japan still i want to show you from that event uh that has happened in uh japan uh, w Quest director Bichat said hello Bihat or Bichat. Uh, thank you for being here with us. W Quest director is definitely better than L Quest director, uh, right? Probably. Also, Mao cosplay did a great um, v, co uh, v cosplay. Dude is charismatic. He does a lot of cosplays, including Geralt. Yes, I mean I of course uh, know him. We met a couple of times uh, with Mao uh, during like various events and so on. So he's a very cool guy. Um, yes. Uh, I saw that there was a documentary about CDPR coming out. Yes, my, my chum, I mean, uh, it was revealed by the uh, German uh, journalists um, um, uh, who have been working on it. So I, uh, I cannot probably say anything more, but yeah, uh, you probably, you probably can uh already uh, yeah i will actually look just in a moment for the poster of the documentary actually you know what let me uh but yes we will look at the poster for the documentary in a moment but before so i wanted to go with you over the pictures from uh phantom to japan 
uh, so that you can see them actually. This is cool. Okay then, I'm not really seeing any questions I should urgently answer right now before we uh, jump in, so I wanted to show you this. Um, and let's go, you know, there is another one, of course, you know, this one you have uh, seen before. Actually, this is like Takimura's favorite snack, I guess. It is Takimura's favorite snack. Check it out. It looks like sushi to me. It looks like sushi to me, does it? It should be yakitori, right? Onigiri, okay, it's onigiri. I think uh, Takimura likes yakitori, right? Doesn't he? I, I forgot what he likes the most. Um, it's onigiri with ambalboshi, ambalboshi plums. Okay, glass lalia, okay. We have a connoisseur here. We have a connoisseur here. Can you put Johnny's Grave song? It makes me cry. I mean, definitely we can watch it. We can listen to it uh, in a moment. I mean, it says onigiri on top. Uh, yeah, it does say onigiri. Uh, it, oh, okay. I guess you mean in Japanese it says onigiri. I thought it was human minds, huh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> interesting. Uh, I'm not, not, not gonna lie, I wish Polish edition of Phantom Liberty Tour had game-themed food too. Well, I mean, Glass Lolly, a Polish edition was so big and so rich and had, there were so many things. Like, for instance, I was there too, you know. Uh, we did so many things, you know, for Polish edition. So, uh, like, I, I think, like, Polish edition was one of the bigger ones, uh, to be completely honest with you. You know, and again, like each of the countries is like trying to like, I would say, do something cool and specific. So, uh, Cyber Vesna, Polska Gurum, I think you should write it with open U, right? Because this is incorrectly. You have written it incorrectly, uh, Cyber Vesna. Polska Gurum, Polska Gurum, you write like this, right? Um, this is how you write Polska Gurum. Yeah, exactly. This is, this is how you write it. Playing by Rolls asks, did uh, Piotr Adamczyk worked on Phantom Liberty? Absolutely. A lot of the music is his, and I believe that the composition we are uh, listening to is also his. Glassolena said, I know I had a blaster, but I still wish we received the same treatment as Japanese. I just want Takimura's favorite snacks. Okay. <laughs> yes, Poland Mountain, exactly. Uh, Poland Mountain. Bartek wrote, absolutely. Vani said, Polska Gurom, yeah. <laughs> let's uh, Polska Gurum. Uh, uh, well, Polska Gurum is always always good to bring up in random occasions. So it happened again. Uh, my chums. Anyway, okay. Uh, let me go back. I wanted to check. Is there anything else I want to show you? Holy shit! There's just so much going on. Um, there's just so much going on that I am. Uh, I am. I am get. I'm getting lost right now in what I actually still wanted to show you uh, today. Uh, let me just really quickly check. Did I really show you everything that I wanted to? Okay, there is also two other things that I wanted to do. No, oh, well, I mean, there is more. There is more though. So let's, let's take a look. So um, I think we can, uh, let's play some other banger. Let's play. Let's play some other banger. I think, I think. Oh wow, I am... I am getting lost. I, I'm hearing myself by some reason. What is happening? Okay. Sorry guys, I started hearing my voice, voice another time. And I was like, what is going on? That is my tombs. Been good to know you. Yeah, relic malfunction. Fucking felt like a relic malfunction, my chum. Okay. Chums. Another thing I want to show you really quickly before we uh, jump in uh, to another topics, which is this one. Yo. How tall are you, tall are you though? I mean, I am like literally like 165, right? 165 centimeters. So that's like four feet. I'm like four feet tall, you know. 
Spiralus GTM, hello my chum, asks, Will 2.0 came out before Phantom Liberty? We already, we already communicated that it will, but we didn't say exactly when, my friend. Um... <laughs> I'm taller than you, Galaxy Upon says. Well, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm 165, so I don't know. It's like fucking four feet or something. I'm, I'm literally a dwarf, you know. A dwarf or a, uh, or a uh, you know, I don't know what else. Um, 165, that's my height, Illusiart says. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, when is the next red stream? Oh, my chums. Uh, we didn't communicate it yet, so not talking about it. Chums. Uh, a great cosplay of Johnny Silverhand. Take a look. And this one. This looks so fucking cool. Damn. Like, Tarin is like, he is like probably the most ripped. He is the most ripped cosplayer I've ever met in my life. Like, I've met uh, quite many ripped cosplayers, like Tarin uh, or, um, you know, or Maul cosplay. They're both, like, really, really well built up. But, like, Tarin is fucking next level. This guy. This guy is... Holy shit. Holy shit. Seriously. Johnny's literally stick. Inaccurate. <laughs> Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he's even too ripped for Johnny, who knows? Yeah. It's just so good. It's just so good. I mean, seriously. How big of a help was to get rid of, of old consoles? I mean, well, you know, my friend, uh, reality is... Reality is that this uh, old generation of consoles is like, what, 11 years old right now, right? So naturally, you know, like just having it not having not to support it allowed us to do so many more things like have in mind please that phantom liberty adds the completely new district to the city so we just had to enlarge it there's so much more data that we have to put in the world to make it work right so it's not trivial uh, to really do it like this so that's why i had to um we had to really make those calls you know um, there's also things connected to like not only graphics and just size of the game but also like performance so basically like CPU and GPU uh, you know related things and memory related things so all of those were really important uh, and were like tying us up when it comes to all platforms that's normal and natural my friend so yes um, what else I can say uh, Heaven's Demise, you ask about the refund on owners of Xbox One Limited Edition Bundle. I mean, my friend, so according to my knowledge, according to my knowledge, uh, that information was shared some time ago, that basically the, uh, the points were uh, already issued back to the accounts of the players that bought it. So basically, the people that have it got the points back. That is, uh, and that already happened, oh God, like, like a year ago. I think that already was completely covered, so I don't really uh, know, my friend, why you're asking. I assume that you didn't realize that you got refunded? I guess that is your uh, question. I'm not really, I'm not really sure, uh, to be honest. I believe that that is the uh, situation, my true. So, uh, yes, not much more that I can add on this case. Um, oh yeah, that's a banging song that's playing. Oof. Oof. That song is actually so fucking heavy, my friend. Wow. Can you please tell a behind the scenes story, uh, the game developer for points? Uh, Yuri Script, I mean, I'm telling you guys uh, uh, behind the scenes stories all the time. If I only have a topic, absolutely I will, uh, Yuri Script. No worries, my chum. Yeah. This song is a blast. I mean, absolutely. You know, absolutely. Ninja cutting onions song. Yeah, uh, that's exactly how it feels. That's exactly how it feels, my friends. Uh, will there be a new strategy book? Oh, my chum. I don't think that I have any updates on that front. I don't know uh, any of it. Uh, uh, if I'm honest with you, uh, my friends. So can't really, can't really say. You know. Um, so uh, there is there is one last thing that I actually wanted to go with you, go through you, my friends, and that's Promised Land. 
you know, uh, we've been on promised land. Uh, so as, as you can see, we are really, really doing so many things, uh, you know, uh, my troops, uh, for, uh, on the, uh, uh, during the, um, during the promised land all the time, just all kinds of different, all kinds of different events and so on. And I wanted to, and, uh, forgive me for putting this music down, uh, but we are going to, I wanted to, uh, look with you on this, uh, amazing video. Let's go. That is the art festival that we've done in Wuch. That was our stand, yep. Jesus Christ, that's a human donut! That is a human donut! There was a lot of fucking people on Promised Land, by the way. Uh, my friends, actually, like, I love this. I love this festival. But yeah, the random donut guy. I'm very impressed with the festival. I think the scope of it, the size of it is fantastic. The organization is my favorite. I mean, just seeing even the presentation of the organization was, was, was fantastic. I've been to a lot of festivals and I think that's been, was just really nice and refreshing. So, and then the artists that are here are just really, really good. Yeah. The workshops. Do you guys know what it is? This is actually 3D VR sculpting class. So you put basically a, a, a VR set and you sculpt three um, here in 3D with the VR headset. I always really enjoy other people's energy. So when, when people are enthusiastic about something that I do, it just, it creates a good vibe. We Same, spent the first so thing, much time there. You have in Oh, that was basically that was by the way Peter Han, uh, if I'm not wrong. Like literally uh, legendary concept artist, amazing guy, amazing guy. I had a great talk on Promise you Land. You have in mind when I say Promise Land Art Festival. Gezellig, which is Dutch for uh, it's like one word to describe uh, cozy and fun at the same time. Yeah, that was basically, like, we were shooting that video, you know, from the drone, actually. It was fun. Uh, it was actually really fun. Um, and, I mean, I loved uh, Promised Land, uh, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, that's the picture, basically. That is the picture that we shot, you know, from that close-up, uh, from that top-down uh, view, uh, basically, in the front of EC1. So this is the place, and, you know, like, somewhere here next to these red shirts, there is the human don human donut, uh, which is basically me, uh, somewhere there uh, standing, my friends. I heard amazing things of Eurodyne said. Yeah, of Eurodyne, I mean, you know, we spent so much time together with uh, Valerie and Brian, so uh, it was great. I really, really, uh, I really liked it. Um, okay, and then another video, basically from a, from a second day. We shot so many of them. Talking about concept art, I've been there. Sculpting classes, that was fucking amazing. Loved it. Well, game. we brought a lot of uh, art books because uh, apparently people around here seems to love art. So we put it in books and they bring that back home with them. Yeah, no cap, yeah. 
Morocco. We Did were you doing make a uh, workshops. No. Yesterday we had uh, we had VR workshops, and uh, on the last day we're gonna have photogrammetry workshops. So a uh, lot of things brought us here. And but uh, but for, for for main thing, I think it's just the great event and and to have fun and connect with other uh, great creatives. Damn. I'm back, we are watching, yeah, we are looking at Promised Land. That was basically like one of the classes, oh, that's Peter Han drawing. Oh, and they were, th those are our mentees from Girls in the Game. And the after party. Yep. Chums, that is it. That was so cool. Uh, that was so cool, actually. Uh, we've done so, so many things uh, together there. Porficartaro um, Kra. Yo, by the way, I'm currently studying in Future Games War, so, oh, that's cool. In CDPR campus, and I have met a lot of CDPR devs, and you guys are just the best. I hope someday to meet you in person. Man, much love, you man. Oof, I would be nice, you know, like, I am, like, around one day, uh, a week uh, in the office, so would be great to meet you uh, as well. Um, I didn't make any sculptures because I was constantly either talking to people or I had my two lectures. I had lecture in Polish, an open day, and then lecture in English in uh, one of the sort of last days, um, I would say. Uh, but I wanted to show you more, uh, my friends, um, because we didn't go over everything yet. Uh, uh, just let me find this. So we watched this. Um, and I think, yes, I think this is the video. Uh, this is the next video I want to show you. Let us take a look, Chooms. Boom. <laughs> your second promised land what made you come back here like i was there last year and, and i found so much from the speakers from the attendees there is a perpetual communication it moves all over the place there are workshops everywhere and it's just really fulfilling to be here Look, this stage was insane actually by pure arts of girls Follow my mom doesn't believe that I'm here too. So I'm gonna take a quick selfie. That's cool. Uh, oh, I was I was in that as well. <laughs> I was there as well. Yeah. By the way, uh, just wanted to say this is Lucy. Uh, uh, she is actually a tattoo artist. She was one of the animators in Witcher Three. Uh, she's right now um, animating, in, I, I think, in um, Exit Plan. That's the, her company. But right now she's a tattoo artist and she was like tattooing and so on. So uh, it, it, like you could get go in and get your own like tattoo there uh, on, a, on the event. Yeah, I had a great time. Everyone gave such great energy and it's been really inspiring. The whole team and staff has organized such a great event. The attention to detail and the care and just all the people that have come here together. It's just such a great environment and great energy and it's just really inspiring being surrounded by all these amazing artists. Yeah, I really had an awesome time, you know. And there were so many reds there. Yes, my chums, uh, this was Promised Land. Um, actually, you know, what is one thing that is actually really amazing about Promised Land is the fact that, um, you know, we are really um, building it in a way that you have so many workshops there. This is really made for people to just go in and learn. You know, you can go for lectures, but there are also workshops, right? You go sculpting, you go drawing and so on. And again, you can just sign in for a classes and just be their own workshops with like the best people in the whole industry, really. Uh, and that's, that's really, really uh, cool for me. Now, uh, 
I want to show you one last thing, which is the uh, one last shots and pictures from Promised Land uh, that I have for you, because I think I went with you through everything, everything. Um, um, so here is basically like an opening ceremony. It was really well organized. I was really proud of our events team. Uh, so yeah, uh, so basically like we had this like machine hall, which is like the biggest room uh, Basically and uh, those are like all the people of course human donut is as well there, uh, you know uh, But those are all the speakers and all the organizers basically on the uh, stage uh, here as you can see And this is the shot actually from the top over like just those are not all the attendees But some of the attendees I would say uh, a, a large large part of them uh, I would say, um, which was, which was awesome, uh, which was awesome. And then here, very, very big, very end, you know, just the organizers. So like people that took care of making sure that the whole event was running. And I just wanted to thank them because they did incredible job on that. That is it. My chooms. This is a farewell. This is the farewell. I was streaming already for two hours and a half. Yeah, I knew I will have to run. I'll have to run. I know the music is very touching. But uh, we are gonna to meet each other in a new world. We gotta meet each other already after the release of Phantom Liberty. We gotta meet each other after the time when you guys already saw and played so many things in the game. And uh, yeah, it's been good to see you. I need to run because I still have, you know, plenty of work, plenty of organizational things to do. So, um, I won't be playing the game today, uh, that's why I titled the stream Quest Designer, uh, Quest Director Talks About Phantom Liberty. I really felt amazing, it really felt amazing to be here with you. Why is the end? Well, because it already was two and a half hours, right? Um, and I slowly, slowly need to go back to all of my responsibilities and all of the things that um, I've been doing. Um, so I just wanted to wrap up this uh, this stream, you know. Um, again, it's always fun. It's always fun to meet you. It's always fun to go over all of those things for you. And I wanted to play something at the end. And let's close this with this song. A song that probably a lot of you know and a lot of you remember. My dears, it's been two and a half hours, so I need to be running. It was amazing. Thank you so much. If you still want that insurance, talk to me. Thank you, Bartek. I'm sorry for all of the questions I may manage to answer, but you know, it's, I'm doing always my best. All the memories reaching out to 2018. We listen to it for a one last time because next time you guys see me it's going to be after the release of Phantom Liberty. Thank you so much for being here today. I had an incredible time. Thank you so much to all the Reds and moderators that have been here with us. And we have Ayano, our UI producer. We have Bartek Pirko, our level designer. We have Chivok, our player experience manager. We have Volpin, our game, our senior gameplay QA. We had uh, Moody Sheep, our QA narrative coordinator. And of course, our amazing moderators, Kogito and Sapphire, my dear girlfriend. Thank you so much to all of you, my friends. I hope you are going to fucking enjoy Phantom Liberty. It was so much work. It was so much time. It was so long coming and I really, really hope you're going to enjoy my friends cherish those moments and we are going to see each other and talk and i hope to hear back from you i hope that after you see it you will still feel it's worth talking to this guy much love my friends